Hello, and welcome to the stream, everybody. It's your boy uh, with this scarab ready to go. You ever just have one of those things in life where you're like, I'm going to be obsessed with this forever. For me, that's the Halo scarab. And today I'm going to make sure that everybody knows it. If you didn't already, let's be honest, it's not exactly a secret. Here we go. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're doing good. Don't be alarmed. I know I'm opening Halo 2, but this is a Halo 3 modding stream. Do not be alarmed. I'm going to quickly show all of you as we kick the stream off uh, something cool I made in Halo 2, and then we're going to move on to Halo 3. And you'll never guess what we're doing today. You really will never guess. The proto? I don't know what the, the prototype. I mean, I don't think this scarab is a prototype. I'm pretty sure it's a fully fledged mining platform. We are going to New Mombasa. Oh, it's gonna go white screen. Let me grab a. <laughs> Hunter Clark, thank you for that dollar. Much appreciated. Owen, doing good. Hope you're doing good too. Oh, hey, fun fact. Did you know Halo 2 Scarab was supposed to be four Phantom turrets? Yeah, actually. Uh, it was supposed to have them on there. In fact, you can still see the like the little holes on the side. And you can even enable them manually. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if I can get this to load. Demon of Song, thank you for the $10. Much appreciated. Putting this in three when, what if I told you I was doing that today? Like now, and I'm just loading up Halo 2 as the start to the stream. Because uh, I have it in Blender and everything. I've got the physics model and everything loaded up. But we're doing Halo 2 uh, Scarab. Like, I'm going to be honest, we didn't even come close to hitting the, the required amount to get the uh, fully fledged chair. And uh, so there's no chair mod. I'm, I don't know what to tell you, okay? I, there's just no chair mod until... My unreasonably high super chat goal is met, all right? Mostly to keep me from doing the chair mod, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, I think my Halo 2 tag tool is, like, taking a real big dump. Give me a second, and uh, I'll restart it. Let's try that again. Right, load up new Mombasa, please. I wanted to show you. So basically what I'm trying to load right now is the um, Halo 2 Scarab. In Halo 2, we will be putting it into Halo 3 today. Um, but that's coming in a minute. I, I got to do this load it up first. Demon, thank you for the $5. What was that goal again? I set it to 500. Big 500 of Super Chat to... Do the chair mod, so that way we will not reach it. Or at least for a very long time. <laughs> That's my safety blanket. I'm like, hey, look, it's possible, guys. But you would have to be uh, basically just putting your mom's credit card in in order to make it real. I'm safe. So no chair mod, probably. We're doing Halo 2 Scarab and Halo 3 today. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, it's so loud. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so loud. Hold on. Oh, that's a little better. Okay, so uh, this uh, mod that you're looking at right here is Halo 2. <laughs> 
Demon, thank you for another $5. All at once or accumulated? Because I'm pretty sure I'm over that. Also, I have more money than my mother do. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> it's accumulated since the last stream, which is whenever we hit 500 since the last stream started. I think it was already at like over 100. So uh, after that, we hit that goal. It'll be a chair stream. But um, let me show what this mod is. So basically, I was doing this in Halo 2 at first. And it is a drivable scarab. Just straight up, fully drivable scarab in Halo 2. And I was working with it, having vehicle physics and stuff. And the reason I'm showing this is because the scarab itself is like a scenery object. And I had to completely transform it into a full-on vehicle. And that was a little bit difficult to do. There were a lot of restrictions and things that I had to do, such as removing the upper collision for the scarab, which means I don't believe I can go on this. The, the collision model was too intense. So I only have collision for the entire interior here. Um, but you can walk around in it and everything. Um, and you can, of course, drive it. The camera is far from perfect. And if I recall, it has animations. You can see, like, it activates and deactivates when you get in and out of it. And I think this it technically has a firing animation. Oh, yeah. It's a bit scuffed right now. It activates afterwards. But it does activate. Um, so I was just having some trouble kind of figuring out how all that's supposed to go together. Um, and, oh, the walking animation, it's a, it's a little busted as well. <laughs> but, you know, not that bad, I guess. Uh, it'll just need a little bit of fixing. Um, but this was where I left this at, like, I would say a month ago was the last time I worked on this mod. And what I'm going to do today is instead of doing this in Halo 2, which admittedly is something I still want to do, I'm going to take all the progress that I put into this mod here and I'm going to put it into Halo 3 today because I really would like to see what this scarab looks like in 3's engine. I think it's a really nice looking uh, vehicle. I think the Halo 2 scarab looks great and even though it's a little low poly admittedly like you know I get out of this thing like I, I'll be the first to admit this is very low detail but in, in 3's engine I feel confident that it'll look like nice. Don't tell me you're going to use the giant tag. Um, to be honest, I haven't decided yet. I kind of want to use the giant tag. Um, because then I could at least convert it to a biped if I really wanted to. I'm definitely thinking about doing the giant tag. It's definitely not going to be a vehicle. I'm going to assure you that it's either going to be a biped or a giant. Which, obviously, a vehicle of this would suck. This is a vehicle here in Halo 2, but that's literally just because it's Halo 2. All right. Could you not export the Halo 2 Anniversary model? So, Carpath, the Halo 2 Anniversary model is one of the few models I have seen that has never been ported. So, unless some, like, saint out there has manually ported the Halo 2 Anniversary Scarab, I don't have it. I would love to use the Halo 2 Anniversary Scarab model, um, but unfortunately, I can't. Green, what do you mean? <laughs> you're literally asking for... Okay, Green, one, you're wrong, and two, you're asking for nothing, basically. You're just saying, don't do the mod. Because it's like... The biped totally works in multiplayer. It has a couple of, like, quirks, but it does. Um, and the giant, obviously, doesn't work in multiplayer, but as a vehicle, this would just suck. Can you add the cut phantom turrets on the sides? Yeah, probably. I mean, you look, you can see... Can I jump on this? A little bit, kind of. I mean, you can see right there. That is where the phantom uh, turrets are supposed to go. Literally right here, these little cutouts for them. Right there. Oh my god, Chief has a got a zipper for his touch what since when? Um is there a way to put Halo 3 Scarab in two? <laughs> yeah, probably. That would be actually really interesting. I would love to see what that looks like. Um let's go ahead and take a look at how this is gonna be in three. So this should be pretty easy to start with. Here's what I want to do, and I think it'll be a bit of fun. I'm going to first put the model into Halo 3 and get it working. I want it to be able to walk around on it and stuff. Now, basically, I'm going to make it like a big scenery object, kind of like this. But, like, it'll basically look like this, but I won't be able to drive it. It won't be a vehicle or anything. And I'm going to get, like, the shaders looking good. I want it to, like, shine the right way. I want it to have, like, all the attachments on it. It's going to be, it's going to be very nice. So there's a couple of things we're going to need to do this. For one, we need the main scarab body, obviously. Uh, for two, we need that. How do I zoom in on here? I need that turret right there. 
I need that turret right there. These are basically the same ones. I just need those two. And I need the holograms inside. So for whatever reason, the holograms are a separate object. So it's actually four things. Main scarab body, turret one, turret two, and the hologram interior object. I, as long as I can grab those, everything should work great. And chances are I won't really run into any major issues because Halo 2 and 3 are <laughs> like practically the same game at the, at the engine level. So, let's, uh, how can I experience this for myself? Unfortunately, I've never released this. I never even got close to completing this mod, so it's just on my hard drive. I'm the only one with it. But if you, you know, mess around with Halo modding, you could do this too. All right, let's jump over to Blender. Let me uh, turn my Halo music up a little bit, so quieter than usual. Let me know if the music's too loud, y'all. Uh, okay, Blow Me Away is on this playlist. That's dangerous. If you guys hear Blow Me Away by Breaking Benjamin start playing, just immediately start <laughs> like flooding the chat. It's on. It's on every Halo Two playlist, and it's it actually bothers me. <laughs> I'm gonna get. But you get copy striked again. So here, this beauty uh, is what uh, the, the Halo 2 Scarab looks like in uh, Blender with all of its beautiful assets exposed. The Upper Hell Jumper, thank you very much for the $5. Much appreciated. Hey, Inferno put Halo in Dark Souls. What if you put Dark Souls in Halo? I mean, I have done a lot of custom animations lately with the whole superhero mod, so like. Yeah, I let the streamer play the Goliath mod. A bunch of people have seen it. You mean Arash? Arash? Arash himself? Physics Ref Phantom. Okay, yeah. So, here's how this is going to work. I'm going to export this bad boy right here. I'm going to put it into this folder right here. I'm going to generate subdirectories so that I can be lazy. And that's looking pretty freaking good. So that'll export. I'm gonna make a new folder. We're gonna call it uh, vehicles. Uh, Garab H2. And then we're gonna pop on over here and put it all in. Boom. Demon, thank you for the $5. Much appreciated. What's a new meaning to Elden Ring? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I guess so. That's so cheesy. Uh, let's let's get this imported. We'll see what happens. Objects, vehicles, Arab H2 final. Whoops. <sighs> see you later, cat. Have a good one. Okay, basically, I'm just importing the render model for the Scarab right now, and I'm going to have to do this, like, not too many times. Everything should be all right. Uh, but yeah, once I have it fully uh, exported, or sorry, imported, it didn't take long at all. So it is taking a really long time to import this render model. I'm starting to wonder if something's screwed up on it. But I imported the Halo 2, so if I can import the Halo 2, all I'm saying is it should be able to import the Halo 3. That's all I'm saying. Who would win Halo 2 Scarab or the Halo 3 Scarab? But Colin, literally, I don't know how to tell you this, but the Halo 2 Scarab was practically invincible. It, it, a scorpion shot at it and it just didn't even flinch. And then it was just like, and just incinerated the scorpion instantly. Halo 3 Scarab's like, mm, it's gonna shoot me the laser at you. Mm. <laughs> Brutal. I mean, we can find out. Yeah, true though. Actually true. We will find out once I get this all working. I'm really excited to do the Halo 2 Scarab Beam. I'm gonna like copy all the particles and everything from Halo 2 to try and get like that perfect Halo 2 Scarab Beam. Like super thick and like the particles like flow off of it. It's gonna have like the dripping bits coming off of the mouth and everything. Really want that. How about the Halo 3 Anti-Air Scarab? Darth Sipaku, don't you know I already made an Anti-Air Scarab and I have it? 
fully working in Halo 3? Where have you been, Darth? All right, let's see if we can get this loaded up in game with no textures, and then we'll go ahead and port all the textures over, which admittedly is like not a lot at all. So it'll be easy. How long have you done this? Uh, done what? Modding? A long time? Years? Object. I need a scenery object. Where's my default scenery object? Tags, objects, scenery. Cube test. Give me a, a model and a scenery tag, and I'll put you in here. Arab H2. All right, so this is basically going to be finalizing everything. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to go hook everything up. We took the model from Blender. We took it out of Halo 2, and now I just got to hook everything up real quick to, you know, get the object fully working, and then I'll spawn it in and see what it looks like. So Arab H2. Uh, which was right. Just a second, guys. Once I have it hooked up, it should be very easy to put into game. Uh, let's do a bulk import if we can. Are you gonna let it? Are you gonna let it happen? Bulk importing? How about an anti air rat gun? I'm confused by what that means, but I have a very vivid imagination and it concerns me greatly. Where is the Type 27? Is it safe? Yeah, no, the Type 27 anti-aircraft cannon uh, is currently safe. I haven't been able to do much to it, uh, but it is safe. Rest assured, our beauty and grace is safe, and I will work on it very soon. I just wanted to do something a little fun today, you know? I wanted to wanted to make a mod that I'm excited about, because, you know, the Forge mod, as much as I really love it, it's not like I don't always want to work on it, so to, to take a side note, and be like, here's something that could be in that mod, but also is just fun in general. That's literally the stream today. You know, we're making a Halo 2 Scarab in Halo 3. Like, that's sick. That's sickening. That's disgusting. I love it. Um, are you going to do anything with the Banished Scarab? Um, I haven't touched the Banished Scarab since I put it into Halo Reach for that video, like, a year ago. Maybe. Could be cool. The cool thing about this, though, is like, well, I guess I shouldn't really worry about it, but a little while ago, Postums was talking about how he was interested in potentially uh, talking to peeps at 343 to see if, like, we could get mods officially, like, recognized um, in in MCC and, like, in playlists and stuff. But the only downside is you can't use things that you don't own, and you can't even use Halo Wars or Halo Wars 2 assets in those mods if that was ever going to be a thing. But... So far, it doesn't necessarily look like that's gonna be like a thing, so, you know, I don't even need to really worry about it, I guess. Whoever said Halo 2 Scarab Rat textures, I agree. Bruh. 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 Y'all on your rats. We're almost there. Alpine Sandbox is slowly loading. <laughs> Be possible to make a glaive weapon like the, honestly like any weapon should theoretically be possible in this theoretically dimitri <laughs> how do i say it theo theodorides theodorides dimitri theodorides oh yeah thank you for the two uh tea and crumpet dollars you mean the type 47 ultra heavy assault platform you're right that is actually exactly what it's called. And I have made a terrible mistake. I mean, we're sitting here talking about the Type 27 anti-aircraft cannon, and I'm shitting on everybody who calls it an AA gun. Uh, but like, you're right. I'm not making a Halo 2 Scarab. I'm making a Type 47 ultra heavy assault platform. Um, so let's spawn this scenery object in. Let's see if it's not going to be textured because obviously I didn't do any textures. You watched me do everything. There was not a single textured part here. But we will, in fact, spawn this in. Let's see what happens. Does my game explode? Does it get mad at me? Or does it theoretically just work? <gasps> Works. My God, we're in Halo 3. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, it's working! First try, what? This isn't real. Oh. Well, I screwed up its pose, but... Oh my god. It's actually not exploding. My game didn't detonate. Nothing died. Oh my god, what a miracle. What a miracle. It's actually working. I'm literally going to get in fart right now. This is incredible. The inside is a little dark, but that might be kind of cool, actually. All right, let's see. How big is this compared to a regular scarab? Let's find out, because I, I want to know. In fact, let me, let's do the AA scarab, just for the, for the shits and giggles, because I can. I'm just that fucking cool. Put the AA scarab right next to him, we'll see exactly how big it is. Damn, that's a chonky boy. And this is like, okay, let me move it over and then. Yum. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty big, gonna be honest. And once this thing is like fully textured, that's gonna look pretty nuts. Like, look at that shine. I'm gonna give this a nice shine too. This thing's gonna be looking slick as hell and it's gonna be all animated and everything. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be a really fun mod, you guys. I'm already like kind of feeling the hype on this. <laughs> How many legs could you put on a scare? I mean, like theoretically infinite, but that's so cursed. <laughs> I always thought it was much bigger. Oh, uh, this is the proper scale for it. But no, I mean, the Halo 3 scare one wasn't small. Okay, well, hold on. Let me also, let's also get the real Halo 3 scarab in here too, just so that we, uh, we're not making mistakes because the AA gun I put on the AA scarab is like, Big. So scarab drops. Yeah, we'll keep the AA scarab over there. But here's also the regular scarab. Here's my lineup of scarabs in progress. Yeah, honestly, the Halo 2 one, it's I mean it's still definitely a lot taller, but like as if you add up the height of like the turret on the three one, it's not that much taller, you know. You're feeling the hype, but working with giant tags is so awful. Bro, get off my fucking... I'm happy, okay? Can't you let me be happy, dude? Let me be happy with my giant tags. You're, you're fucking... You're, you're killing my vibes, bruh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do next. Like, obviously, I know it would be really smart... To like keep it in this cool pose and stuff, but we're gonna put it in this really cringe pose because uh, it needs to be in this default pose to begin with. So we're gonna I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, I'm gonna save this as a new save here. We're gonna delete all the keyframes and we're gonna reset it to its default T pose. So this is the scarab. Oh, whoops. This is the scarab's T pose right here. Um. And we're going to import it with like T-Pose. It's going to look really goofy, but I'm going to need to do this. And then we're going to do textures on it as well. And, like shaders and make it all shiny and stuff. H2 Scarab. Uh, we're going to export everything. Yeah. Halo Wars 1 music hits different. Yeah, true. I was literally just about to say like that. <laughs> that was really good. Um, we'll copy that over. Go to our data folder, put everything in, and we're gonna rerun all the commands real quick. We're gonna import, oh shoot, we're gonna import the render model. Um, that's just gonna take us a minute. And it's actually going quite a bit faster this time. That's good. It was kind of annoying to wait for it last time. We'll get the collision model in, that should be pretty fast. I don't even know if I need to re-import these, but you know, better safe than sorry to just do it all. New song. Okay, this collision model is taking a little bit longer than I expected. Just Ad Nauseam is the best track in Halo Wars 1, changed my mind. I don't believe you, let me look it up.
that actually the name of a song because I looked at it? It is, but it, it didn't even come up in the search results. What? A one minute track. Put this on your uh, extension mod with the other vehicles. That'd be cool. Yeah, no, if this if I get this working good, I'll probably turn it into like a vehicle vehicle and make it like just a thing that's on the map. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but realistically, like if I actually like this and I want to even put it in the mod, I'm going to take the, the Scarab itself and like... Like straight up, I'll just make it higher quality, you know, like I'll give it more detail. It's actually pretty, this is a pretty banging Halo Wars track, not gonna lie. Did I just run Collision again? I'm actually done. Let's get the physics model in there. Okay. So now, I'll be honest. Oh my god, this track. I forgot about it. Um, but now... We've got, like, I know, I'm going to be honest, the T-Pose for Scarab kind of cringe. It did become a lot taller, but this is Scarab in T-Pose. And now that it's in T-Pose, though, we can actually, or we're supposed to be able to get inside of it. Why, why is the physics model offset? Hello? Oh, it's reading. Yeah, okay, I know why the physics model, because we're standing on this thing. Hmm. The fact that we're standing on that is not necessarily a good sign. It's because uh, this is supposed to be like the physics area. This right here is what we're standing on right now, this giant red box, which is why I'm floating over the scarab. And in order to get that not to be a solid object, um, I need to make it like the physics area of the scarab. This is basically supposed to be kind of like a zone so that when you're standing on the scarab, you don't go flying off into outer space whenever it moves. So it kind of like is glue. This is like the glue zone. It holds you down. Um, so I just need to look at the Halo 3 scarab physics model really quick to know like what to name this and what material to give this. And then it should work and uh, like not be solid. So let me do that real quick. We'll make a new Blender file. We're going to import the scarab physics model. If I'm not mistaken, I've already exported it. Um, so let's just go find it real quick. It should be in my Halo 3 editing kit folder under data, extracted, Arab, data, objects, giants, Arab, physics mod. Perfect. Yeah, exactly like the Albatross takes two. That's exactly the same uh, concept. I, I don't... I did make a box like that for the Albatross, but honestly, with all the stuff I cram into my brain regarding Halo modding on a regular basis, I couldn't even tell you specifically what I named it at this point, so I kind of just have to remember, damn, <laughs> Scarab do be looking pretty thick, though. Welsh Jammy, thank you for those tootie and crumpet buckaroonies. Much appreciated. An overkill Scarab idea, orbital Mac round Scarab. Oh my god. You do remind me though, Halo 3 doesn't have a Mac cannon and that's a sad tragedy. Okay, check this out by the way guys. Like, okay, this is nutty. This is kind of nutty. Um, so here's the Scarab, right? You ever notice this little thingy on the Scarab? There's like a little notch here on it. Apparently at one point or another in development, there was going to be a gravity lift on the Halo 3 Scarab. And this is the leftover, uh, what is called a phantom object shape not related to the vehicle phantom. It's basically what makes grav lifts go up and down. And at some point or another, this was gonna be a grav lift on the Scarab, but obviously we've all played Halo 3. There is no uh, or there's no grav lift. Instead, obviously the Scarab like buckles and falls down. So, you know, kind of interesting to note that at one point there was one. Um, that being said though, what we're actually interested in is these big, thick, nasty boxes called Physics Local Physics local hole physics and all that, and the, the material is literally just called localized, so I'm going to go hop back on over to this and rename it to that. And material I'm going to rename to localized. Boom! Easy peasy. And this should be set as a physics object, and then this right here, uh, fun fact as well, this is so weird. Uh, uh, this is the Halo 2 physics model. Like, I, I ripped this physics model straight out of Halo 2. Like, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and make my own if there's one in the game. Um, but there's this little box here, and it's called the Dock Attractor. 
And what it basically seems like is at some point or another, this little cube was supposed to be for like banshees or like a vehicle of some kind to attach to. And it would like attract vehicles to the top of the scarab. Uh, but as far as I know, that's never been used in the game. Like, I'm pretty sure it hasn't. Um, but yeah, something is supposed to be attracted there, and it's not used, so I'm going to delete it. And then our big box here should be good, and I, I've just got to basically cross-reference that to the Halo 3 one, and then it should no longer do the thing that makes it so we stand on top of it. I know, very technical. I'm a, I'm a wizard with the technical jargon. I know, I know. I right, will replace those files, and then all I should need to do is update the physics model. And I'll still be standing on it. So now, this is the fun part. By fun, I mean a part. We're going to open up the physics model, and we're going to manually hook up that object by seeing how the regular Scarab does it. Scarab physics model. Phantom landing point? Um... No, not like a, I don't know, maybe. Uh, it's, there's no way a phantom could pick up a scarab, and if it did, it would look so weird. No, definitely not. I don't know necessarily what it was for. I couldn't tell you, but there was something. So what we do is, so this is the Halo 3 scarab physics model, and this is the custom Halo 2 one. So we need this area called phantom types added, and it has localized physics box checked, which is the really cool thingy. Um, it has everything set to zero. That's totally fine. And then rigid body... I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we need whole base. We need a material here. Uh, where's the materials block? Totally lost. Okay, here. Localized. Boom! So what we do is we go here, we find the localized block. Where are you? Material block. Somewhere. Here. Physics ref phantom. That's not what I named it though. Alright, re exporting it. Save you. Um, for whatever reason, it did not update when I exported it. So I'm just going to delete it all, re-export, and put everything back in. Okay. I can. I'm only doing this because I noticed the material name didn't update when I was editing it in here. So that just makes me believe, like, for whatever reason, it just... Oh, that's why. It literally didn't update because I didn't export right. I'm actually dumb. Uh, let's do that real quick. We generate subdirectories as a render type. That'll create the folders for us. Right in there. And then I can copy these on over to the actual mod folder. Like so. Then now it should update the physics model when I run the command to import the physics model. Boom. Uh, now we can go back and do exactly what I was just doing, but correctly this time was going to vehicles, Halo 2 Scarab, blah, 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 physics model. Okay, we're back. A little detour there, because uh, I got a little lost in all the file names. Um, but yeah, now we have our phantom shape set up, and it's got the localized physics box checked, which is good. And then we very quickly redo material. So yeah, we have localized, and that gets set. Types block. So that basically... By hooking that up, we should now fall onto the scarab. Boom! Look at that! Told ya. So basically what that did is it told the game that this giant box here is not actually a solid object, but it is in fact a phantom object, meaning it has a different purpose other than collision. And I told it that the purpose was to stick objects to it by making it localized. So now it is no longer going to prevent players from going inside. And in fact, objects will now stick to this entire a zone, which is pretty damn cool. Now we can walk inside the scarab. Pretty neat. Okay, that being said, and just like that, it has collision. Yeah, exactly. Well, technically, it already had collision, but 
yeah, no, we're <laughs> we're making progress here. This is pretty cool. So now, basically, uh, the next thing that I want to do, um, obviously, I want to add like the turrets and the holograms and stuff to it, and that's pretty easy to do as well. I and mean, I'll totally do that, especially since I literally just have to port it from Halo Two, which is really quick, rather than making it by hand. Um, but then after that, or before that, I want to do the shaders, right? Like I want the scarab looking cool right now. I want it to have textures. I want to work on the shaders, give it cool shine. I want it to be glowing, all that stuff. Then we'll work on the turrets. A little backwards, but that's just how I work because I like to do. Do you wing most of this modding? Absolutely. I'm flying by the seat of my pants here. All right, I'm going to go very quickly use the restroom because coffee is a diuretic. I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, share stream over. I'm back. Um, God, I have so many things I want to say right now. So I was just went to the bathroom, right? And my cat, my new kitty, well, she's not really a kitty. I, I rescued this cat. She's like two and a half years old. She's adorable. Little, small, long-haired black kitty. Every time she meows, she sticks her tongue out. <laughs> so weird. I've never seen a cat do this before. I didn't know she did this until I brought her home. She literally, <laughs> she sticks her tongue out every time she meows. So like half the time, she forgets to pull her tongue back in completely and her tongue is just like... <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, but I didn't miss your uh, super chat. Thank you very much, Demon. Appreciate the fiver. Now, I just realized that I mentioned this yesterday, but I assumed you had this idea beforehand. So I guess weird minds think alike. True or great minds. Great minds for certain. We are great minds. Welsh Jammy, thank you for those two very, very British pounds. Um, if you hit 500, make your chair, but as scarab legs. <laughs> wait, wait, so just, you're saying four scarab legs, like fuller, full-size scarab legs at the very top is just this little, like, gaming chair? Because I kind of like that idea. <laughs> Maybe I need to put like a, a goal at the top of the stream of like how how close we are to the chair. So I think that's a good idea. All right, let's get the uh, scarab textures rolling. So I should already have them. I'm gonna make a uh, I'm gonna make a bitmaps folder here, and then I'm gonna roll on over to the Halo Two editing kit because if I'm not mistaken, I already have all the bitmaps. Grab them from data, objects, vehicles, scarab. No, no bitmaps. Oh, you know what? I have them from my Halo 1 mod. Fun fact, I actually made a scarab mod just like the one that we're working on here in Halo 1. Um, and I have all the bitmaps over there. I'll grab those real quick. James Turner, thank you for the $10. Yo, we out here building up the Halo 2 Scarab and Halo 3? We sure are. And here's a reminder about the Mega Mantis. Oh my god, literally, I, <laughs> James, I, I swear, I never remember this stuff. I'm so sorry. You, you gotta message me off stream. It's, I'm so bad at doing anything on stream. Maybe I'll, 
So I just don't want to like hunt for it while I'm doing stuff in the middle of a stream. But absolutely, thank you very much for the ten dollars. We're now that much closer to the chair vehicle. Um, and I will definitely get that to you. Let me grab vehicles, H two scarab bitmaps. What? All my bitmaps? Away. What? That's weird. Okay, let me do projects, Halo, CE mods, tags, vehicles, H2 Scarab. The Welsh Jammy, another two pounds. Making me heavy as hell. Chair Scarab legs and then main gun fires rats. Oh my god. That's so, that's so cursed. Why? Uh, maybe though, honestly. <laughs> That doesn't sound half bad. Okay, well, in any case, I have all of the Scarab stuff here. Well, a lot of it, anyway. Um, Maybe I should just re-rip them, though, because I'm, like, missing several different things. So one thing is I should re-rip, or I should, yeah, I think I should re-rip all the textures, because I have this bitmaps folder, but it literally doesn't even have everything that I need. Like, it doesn't even have the normal maps, because I made this for Halo 1, and Halo 1 doesn't support normal maps. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Export. No. Yeah, I don't think I actually have all of the, uh, all of the bitmaps. So I guess we'll have to do that now. That should be pretty easy, though. So I actually know exactly how to find all the bitmaps very easily. We open up Halo 2 Gorilla. So we've been working in Halo 3 tools now. Now I'm opening up the Halo 2 tools. And this should very quickly get me to the Scarab Spit Maps. Life Weaver, thank you very much for those five... Is it five pounds or euros? Am I dumb? That's pounds, right? I'm pretty sure that's pounds. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm not saying you should make it, but what about a Wraith Mortar Scarab? Wraith Mortar... What do you mean by Wraith Mortar Scarab? Elaborate on that. Are you talking about like a Scarab that shoots Wraith Mortars? Ender Slayer, thank you very much for those two dollary dues. Call it the cherub. Oh my god, that's actually I hate that that's good. <laughs> I hate that that's so good. The cherub. <laughs> Can't you use Reclaimer? Yeah, um, I'll definitely be extracting with Reclaimer. I just want to get the name of the, the bitmaps real quick. So uh what is it under? It's under objects. Cinematics, Covenant. Am I? Is it not? not? Under Object Cinematic Covenant? Am I being dumb here? Scenarios. Solo. I'm kind of lost now all of a sudden. Where is the Scarab? I swear it was under Objects. Cinematic, Covenant, Military, right? Hello? Oh, you know what it is? It's under scenarios, right? Is it under scenarios solo? Uh, brain is turning off. I completely forgot. I literally forgot 100% entirely. Uh, let's just go back. I'll find it manually. So it should be under Halo 2. Tags. I'm just going to search for it. It's Scarab. Uh, and it's under... I want sound tags. Scarab.model should be under... Scenarios, Objects, Covenant, Military. Okay, that's why. I was right. So, Scenarios, Objects, Covenant... Military, Scarab. Cool. So I just need to grab all of the textures from it. Well, it's Jammy. Thank you for the two euros. Much appreciated. Before I sleep, Scarab is just a giant chair. Oh my god. Isn't any 
Oh, because it has legs. Oh my god, it's literally a giant chair. Revelation I was not expecting today. But it is here. Life Weaver, thank you for those five. Pure pure Pioros. Pure, pure thank you. Like a scarab that uses a wraith projectile to bully targets behind cover. Oh, now that would be interesting. Instead of a beam, it's like a super a super wraith mortar that kind of just like boom, like launches out like a, a mortar really. And then it's like a, but it's like a super wraith mortar. At least I would assume. That's cool. That's a cool concept. I would not have thought of that. Have a good one though, Welsh. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right, so we got this time to start extracting the bitmaps. This should be pretty easy. So all we got to do first and foremost is open up our uh, reclaimer folder, which I have my reclaimer here. Demon of song. Thank you for those five USD. Covenant nuke. That's something I think about a lot. Me and green actually throughout all of our time making mods Have spent so much time thinking about covenant nukes all the way back to the original extinction I thought about covenant nukes and it makes me wonder like what is it a covenant nuke exactly? Is it like Is it like a plasma nuke? Is it like a slip space like I, I always kind of I never really went super deep into what it is uh, Kipabra Kipabra Thank you very much for that super chat. I really appreciate it. Any chances of improving Halo 2, 3s, and 4s bosses? Uh, maybe. Halo 2's bosses need some real help. Um, but Halo 3 bosses, as far as like the Scarabs go, was pretty good. The Guilty Spark fight pretty, pretty much sucked, let's be honest. I'd love to do a Gravemind boss fight in Halo 3. I think a Gravemind boss fight in 3 would be really sick. So at some point, I'd love to do that. Especially, I actually was porting the Gravemind model from Halo 2 over... The three with like upscaling uh, the models and stuff. So at some point, I'll probably do a Gravemind boss fight. That'd be that'd be really cool. Um, but no plans right now to do it because it's just because it's a lot of work, frankly. But I would like to at some point. It'd be cool. Okay, so we got the scarab bit maps. Ender Slayer, thank you for another. Two U.S. bucks. Scare, but it's the Omnidroid from The Incredibles. <laughs> That's so cursed. I can't. I would not. I really, I could not. That's cursed. That literally is a scare, though. The so Scarab Legs Shell Shader uses Scarab Legs Bump and Scarab Legs. And I'm, gonna, I'm even going to get the Specular Cube maps. I might not use them, but I'm going to get them. So I need Scarab Legs. Metal Crackle and Meat Grinder Specular. Let's get all of those right now. For anybody who's tuning in right now and doesn't know what I'm doing, I'm pulling all of the materials for this scarab so it is no longer a Da Vinci Code and we're going to make it shine, look beautiful, bold, brash, all those good things. So we're going to get the scarab legs texture. We're going to get the scarab legs bump texture. I already know we're going to need the whole exterior and bump and also the whole interior and bump. So let's now extract all of these. Two. Uh, wait, did I already? Okay, I don't have an H2 Scarab folder. We're going to do Scarab H2 here. We're going to export all these folders. Scarab legs, done. Scarab legs, bump. Uh, done. Life Weaver, thank you for those five pounds. Much appreciated. Uh, last one, I promise. Perhaps using the Covenant Corvette turret model. Also, perhaps one of those barrier door things at the Scarab's back door. That's actually not a bad idea. Considering I'm kind of updating this, that would be pretty darn cool. Um, I, d I actually really like the Covenant Corvette turret model. That would be super cool. And you just reminded me, now I want to make a Covenant Corvette vehicle. Last one I did in Reach was like long ago and without good tools. So that'd be great. Um, Major Gold Smith, thank you very much for the $2. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Wraith with a massive beam rifle for the cannon. That is terrifying. Are, are the Jackal snipers not enough for you? <laughs> That's, that sounds horrifying. <laughs> and and Demon, thank you very much for the $5 as well. Scared, but it uses the model that I use for my jesters. I don't even know what that would look like. What does... 
And I know, by the way, I know what your gesture model is. I watched an episode of, what was it called? The show. Not Has Been Hotel. I heard about that one. That's like the other one or whatever. It was the, the one that's actually out. I watched it. It was actually, it was pretty fun. It was cartoony. All right, so let's get the uh, shiny shaders. Meat Grinder Specular and Metal Crackle. Meat Grinder Specular. Interesting. I don't know why that's called Meat Grinder Specular, but we're taking it. Nobody can stop me. Metal Crackle. So this Metal Crackle bitmap is like the detail map. This is like kind of overlaid to give a little bit of extra texture onto the scarab. Um, and I'm, yeah, we're going to use that. So I'm going to check the other shaders really quickly, see what else we need. The scarab hole interior. If I'm not mistaken, there's supposed to be like glow. Okay, so the detail map on the interior is called panels. And the specular is called dark gray. Get those. So panels for the interior. Oh yeah, this is it. Panels will be our detail map. And then we're going to grab dark gray. Demon, thank you for the $5. My jesters are much more creepy and spindly. Pretty sure there was a, one of the episodes in there had a, a spindly jester. But I'll take your word for it. That's supposed to be fake reflection? Yeah, exactly, Icarus. It's literally exactly what it is. Yeah. If I reattach you, reclaim or help. Whatever. Whatever. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even care. Oh my god. That's cool. I didn't even know it could do that. All right, so we got those. Uh, scare pole interior, panels, dark gray. What else? I swear that there was supposed to be like an illumination map. Metal curved scratch will be the detail map here. So one more to get. Metal curved scratch here. Cool. I'll export that too. Look, look how many textures we're getting right now. This is going to be so easy. So easy. Grinder specular, scare pole exterior bump. Yet, yeah, but like, Scarab Bloom, not Shader. Scarab Hole Exterior is the self illum map. Yo, yo, hold the phone. Is that even? Well, I guess it is. A... Okay. As modules stand right now, is it possible to import the nice, shining, sexy Halo Three Covenant shaders uh, into Halo Reach? Theoretically, it should be possible. It's just a matter of really like spending the time to get it there. I almost did that without mod tools back in my original Extinction mod. I redid a lot of the the Phantom shaders and stuff, and I, I had somebody else help me with it um, a while back too, and they, they got some really nice results. Probably not exactly, but you could get pretty close. I'd say. I definitely would like to do that for Reach because, hey, look, I love Reach. All right, Reach was a good game, but man, those grungy flat shaders compared to like like this, like, God, look how shiny Halo 3 Covenant stuff is. And in Halo Reach, it's just like so flat. Oh, my God. It's bleh, bleh, bleh. no bueno. All right. I think it's time now for I'm going to double check that we have all the shader or all the textures we need. But I, I do think we, we're there. And Arab additive lights. What are you? It looks like we have everything. Whole interior, whole exterior, legs, and everything else is just glowy. Uh, bloom, bloom interior, and additive lights. Double check. Yeah, all right. Literally everything is set and good to go. Icarus, that's the whole point. It uses a grounded military. No, it does. And I'm not saying that's bad. I just like, I personally prefer the art style of Halo 3. I think it looks freaking neat all right i said it i think it's neat models scarab h2 all right here's all of our textures that we need for halo 2 scarab let's get it in there so we got our data folder objects vehicles scarab halo 2 bitmaps boom look at them all in there let's get these bad boys hooked up Tool, bitmaps, objects, vehicles, scarab, two bitmap. There they go. Already imported as bump maps and diffuse maps and all that good stuff. So we're gonna start small here. 
What do you guys think? Should I start with like the Halo 3 Scarab material and just kind of kind of make it shiny? Like I feel like it'd be kind of cool if I made it look similar to the Halo 3 Scarab. Yeah, Halo 2 Scarab is huge. Well, to be fair, it's usually a little bit shorter. Right now it's T-posing, like it should be around this height. Because it's T-posing, it's standing like all the way up because it's I haven't animated it yet. It's not, it's a little bit shorter, but it's, trust me, it's definitely still taller than that. And I, have you made your own models before shotgun? Yeah, um, I'm a very amateur 3D modeler, but um, I do make custom parts and things. Or, because I do uh, character rig again creation for VRChat. So I've spent a decent bit of time making custom hard surface models, but I'm not that good. Can you let me upscale the textures a lot? Yeah, no, trust me, I will. Uh, I just want to get the shaders right first, then I'll do some upscaling. But that's kind of boring to do on stream. So I'll do upscaling later. For now, though, uh, we've got the bitmaps in. Now it's time for shaders. And I've decided. This is a really nice metal shader that's used on the outside of the scarab, but the shiny shell is also really nice. Demon, thank you for the $5. Much appreciated. All right, let's see, because you might honestly be a big help here. I say a more pale blue, like the two scarab. Two's is paler than three. But keep that shine, make stuff shiny, almost chrome. Okay, yeah, see, I was thinking the exact same thing. Like, I'm obviously not gonna keep the purplish and reddish reflection. I'm gonna switch it over to the Halo 2 colors, but yeah, keep the shine. Let's do that, let's give that a shot. I really like the scarab shaders, so we're gonna do that for sure. So that's gonna be under tags, objects, giants, scarab, and we're gonna grab the shaders. I believe that's called scarab, not scarab hole, dull, scarab hole shiny. Put that over into here. New folder, shaders, drop it in. And we're gonna do the first shader first. First shader I wanna do is scarab leg shell, I think. Okay, let's do scarab leg shell first. So all I have to do to hook this shader up is call this scarab leg shell. And then I re-import the render model and it will automatically hook up. It's going to calculate all the lighting, bake in some shadows, all that lovely good stuff. And in a second here, we should have a very scuffed looking scarab. All right, how scuffed are we? Oh, we're scuffed. We are scuffed. Oh, shoot. It looks like I did not. Um, God, that looks kind of cool, actually. <laughs> that actually looks pretty cool. Um, I forgot to smooth it out. I'm dumb. Wait, did I really forget to smooth it out? Oh, I did. I thought I had that fixed already. Okay, let me just make sure everything's not stuck together. I had some issues with everything being stuck together before. Okay, it looks like everything is good actually. I didn't run into any issues here. Not here. What about here? We good? We good, we good, we good. Looks like things are working right. All right, cool. Cool. So we'll save that then. This should make things look quite a bit better. I don't think I need to shade smooth. It looks like the parts that need to be shaded smooth are already shaded smooth. So let's export that. For the record, if you don't know, shading smooth is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It makes the model look smooth versus looking not smooth. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but obviously if I have every single thing separated out, it's not gonna look very smooth. Let's bring that back in. Yo, is that what I think it is? It is. Uh, we're actually doing the textures and the shaders right now. Wait, what? How did that screw it up? Okay, uh, let me hide everything. Unhide the scarab. 
But I'm now, this is interesting, totally running into an issue. Um, when I highlight everything and combine all the triangles down, it's not happy. The current version in game looks bad because it's all separated out, but where is the issue coming from? I'll try this one more time. Export, JMS, Halo 3, rendered out, that there, my projects, and it is 8.59, and this is exported at 8.59. Here of H2, render, replace, and I, exp I try to import it. So we get an issue. Uh, elements, parts, strip, true, crash, verify same triangle indices. All right, I just got to think here for a second. It's not happy about something. Subpart strip elements, subpart strip count. Triangle list elements, triangle list count. Verify same triangle indices. Um, basically the issue that it looks like I'm having right now is that when I combine things together, Halo is on. You know what I gotta do? I have an idea. I'm gonna do one object at a time. So I'm gonna start with this. Let's see if that makes it happy or sad. All I did was combine one part of the object. Does it let me combine that one part of the object? Okay, it doesn't. So this part of the object is causing an issue when I combine things. Let me try the legs, for example. Merge by distance. Uh, let's get that exported out. So can I combine the legs together? This will help me pinpoint down what area specifically is the problem area. Okay, yeah, so I can combine the legs together. That's okay. You can literally just check precise and halo material properties. Oh, really? You have to change the scene settings. Oh, okay, well, good to know. Um, I'll try that. Blah, blah blah yeah that's all good i can auto set this that's nice you know i've never even messed with that um and you said on the material i can do material properties and set it to precise is that really on materials halo material properties flags dice I'd rather add the characters in the material. Make sure to do global. Global what? Because uh, I don't mess with these flags. I always manually type them in myself. No mesh property. Object. Oh, yeah, definitely convex shape. Okay, interesting. You did it, just making sure? Okay, yeah, so I just gotta do it for all of those. All right, I could do precise on all of them. Let's see. I'm surprised that a material property makes it work, but hey, if it works, it works. A lot of weird stuff happens in materials in Halo, so. Hey, let's do it. Quickly them all. Let's see if that makes a difference. We'll merge. 
distance, but we'll bring it back to what it was. Right there. B, maybe, just maybe. That fixes it. If not, I'll have to go back to the old way I was doing it a second ago. Ah, same issue. Damn. Uh, I don't know what the precise was that. I, I think I like get the gist of what precise was supposed to do, but. Anyhow, uh, let's go back to my way. Which is, wait, what did you say green? You can type left. I guess I could try that. I think they fixed it, but yeah, I could try that. So you merge, distance, export. Oh, this is the last thing I'll do before I do my things my way. Yeah, still failed, okay. Back to my way, my way or the highway. So leg shell, I was able to merge this by distance without any issue, which was nice. Um, so let's see if I can do the bloom material merge by distance. Actually, wait, that's tied pretty heavily with. That so I'll, I'll hold on. So interior. Let me just save that rope. So I got the legs merged. Did you face map it? Uh, no, I, I don't mess with face maps. I've never even taken the time to learn how they work because you don't need them until you're doing. It might not have that many vertices. It doesn't have very many vertices, so that's not the issue. I, you can check. It's, it's literally at uh, 3000 vertices. Wait, what? Now that's not working. Excuse me? No, 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 you don't get to do that. This was working a second ago. Don't be stinky with me. Stop being stinky now. Here's how this is gonna go. I'm gonna click leg shell. I'm gonna merge by distance, as one does. Then I'm gonna export it. Yeah, I'm steaming now, guys. I'm steaming mad. Your face is blocking it. This is my face. I want things to be flat. Is it so hard to get things flat? Oh, okay, now it's working. Okay, well, the legs are now smoothly shaded by doing things my way. Let's see how much more I can get away with before having to diagnose specifics. Let's see the whole exterior merge by distance. Uh, does it let me get away with the whole exterior getting merged? Run statistics. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Maybe it'll just work my way if I get lucky. Probably not, but maybe. Yeah, no. Error. Love it. So, in any case, it doesn't like... If I can get away with leg shell, I get away with whole interior. If I remember, I had this issue with Halo 1 as well. And I, it was like there was some vertice somewhere in the hole that was like causing major issues. A small area. Um, why do I not play Halo Reach? Uh, that's because there are no Halo Reach mod tools. Mod tools are awesome. 
Okay, cool. I can do interior too. So something to do with the exterior. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so if it's just the exterior part that's having issues. Hmm. Now the interior is flat shaded. So exterior is definitely not, but interior is now flat shaded nicely. So that's also pretty cool. But exterior is having troubles. Hmm. Taking a look at this. What was the... I was able to diagnose it. It still has tons of loose parts in there. Couldn't quite say what the issue is, honest. It looks like super clean, honestly. Have you seen the progress of the Halo 3 damage states of the Pelican? I haven't messed with that too much uh, in a little while. Sorry to say. It's been a bit. All right, well, in any case, I will mess with that in a, later. Um, really irritating that it's not working right, but... Really change it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So let's just work on shaders for now. That sounds like a better plan, in my opinion, because at least we can do the leg shaders and I can worry about this all later, because leg shaders are actually going to be kind of cool. So, let's make this look cool as hell. So we're going to refresh our files. So in our shaders, we've got the leg shell shader. And we can literally cross-reference with the leg shell from Halo 2 to get the colors and everything right. So it's PRT Scarab is the name of it of the shader type and the Halo 3 Scarab shader is kind of similar. The albedo color, okay, I'm gonna have to get. So it's got two specular tints. It's got a bright pink and a dark blue. So let's just hook up the texture maps first. That'll be a good start. So I will go into our folder here. We've got all our bitmaps under Scarab H2 bitmaps. And the first thing is the legs bitmap. Um, and then the detail map, bump map, also in there. So we'll grab Scarab legs bump. And whoopsie, open that. So then our detail map is the metal crackle. But I want Banshee detail map might be better. I'll keep Banshee detail for now. Banshee detail bump is kind of nice too. We'll keep those. So specular tint and glancing specular tint are these two colors here. And that's actually extremely similar to Halo 2's, except it's pink and dark blue, whereas in Halo 3, it's like orange. Let's let's save that and see what that looks like in game. That ain't right. <laughs> it's kind of I really kind of like that though, if I'm being honest. Like that's kind of cool. Like <laughs> What do you guys think? That's kind of dope. Damn, what? That's crazy looking. Halo 2 Scarab, but it's purple. Like the, that's wild. Um, but no, I, let's, we'll change the albedo color to be white. So that's progress. Um, albedo default, blah, blah, blah. All right. Combination of orange and purple. Actually, yeah, why is it? Uh, why is it? That's really odd. I don't have any more purple stuff in here. Is it because it's blue and orange? or? Uh, that's odd. 
whole thing is coated purple, actually. And it's definitely not that purple ever. In fact, it's supposed to be that like gray on the back there, if I'm not mistaken. Is it really that purple? No, no way. Anyway, let me change the, uh, the environment map. Should be set to Meat Grinder Specular. That honestly is kind of worse. I kind of liked it before. Combination of orange and purple. Yeah, is it? Let me switch that back. I actually really dislike that. It was under like tags, levels, solo, 70, waste, bitmaps, arc. Old arc. Sky, bitmaps, arc. Oh, it, it doesn't exist. I don't know. I'll deal with that later then. Whatever. But that's interesting. I don't know why it's uh, purple. What am I missing here? I'm just I'm just being dumb, aren't I? Pair of legs color is this bluish. And... They put the mamsh blur chift in the soda. That's true, actually. That's I, I literally say it all the time, and nobody believes me. It's so awful. All right, what's the detail map look like? Banshee detail. Are you why everything's purple? You might be why everything's purple. When the detail map is purple, that potentially could be why. And the Banshee detail bump... That's okay. I'm going to take our Banshee detail map here, which admittedly looks pretty nice. We're going to swatch it, swap it over to the Halo 2 one and see if that is uh, causing a big color bleed of purple. I believe it used Metal Crackle for this shader, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, that's making a big difference. Halo 2, tell me what to do. Metal Crackle at 16. That is progress. It is definitely a lot more gray after that. Feeling better about that. Still needs some work though. But that's definitely brought it to a more natural color. All right, but we've got two colors to swap out now. We've got these two and an environmental tint color. I want it to be this. DRT. Oh, wait. So it's a dark purple and a dark green. Okay. I'm going to copy these over real quick. So we've got two specular tints. One is this color. Do we not have RGB? Oh, we do. Okay, let me copy the RGBs over. That exact beautiful, accurate color. I won't be able to see you guys' chats for a second because I'm putting this over here. Um, so that needs to be darker though. That's definitely not the right color. U166. Saturation at 93. Luminosity. 126. Uh, I'm having trouble figuring out what's what here, but I think that's it. Okay. I need to do the PC luminosity values and stuff. All right. Uh, I swear this is super fun, guys. Just trust me. It just doesn't seem super fun because uh, reasons. Don't worry about it, though. You can just stay tuned. Okay, I got the colors matched up. Let's save that and I will bring a chat back. I can see you guys now. Lovely. Ooh, whoa, whoa. That's a little wild looking. You, what? Okay, okay. What the hell? It's, like, it's a little too dark though, is my only complaint. So let's brighten that up just a little bit. And uh, change like the reflectivity values on some of this stuff. 
Because right now it's it's too like shiny. Does Halo 2 have those values for specularity? Uh not really. So I'll have to do this all manually at this point. So what that means is first and foremost, I think it's too shiny. Like it, it needs to be like the shine needs to be spread out, look a little bit more metallic is what I'm thinking. Um, but let me check real quick. I think the fact that the, um, the diffuse coefficient let me up that, yeah, that that brightens it, but it's like an artificial brightness, uh, but that definitely helps. What next? Wait, what if I darken that, but I set the specular coefficient down as well. I do need it a little bit bright. Normal specular power cut in half. Okay, diffuse coefficient back to one. So I'm just messing with values right now, kind of seeing how they play out. So I think if I set this from 30 to one, it really spreads out the shine, which is kind of what I want. I want that shine to be like, Definitely more dull, and that kind of gets it there, but I think I need the diffuse up like to two, that brightens it. And then I can set the specular coefficient to like four. Yeah, that really, now it's starting to look kind of Halo 2-ish. Definitely less shiny, not doing flood music. Damn though, Halo 2 Scarab looking kind of <laughs> thick. I'm going to upscale the fuck out of these because they're so blurry. But we're going places. Like, we're kind of getting there. The shine's looking pretty dope. I think I need to, like, brighten the colors on the reflectivity, though, if I'm being honest. Up them a bit again. Ooh, now we're getting places. Yeah, with that shine upped, that's looking pretty good. It's interesting because I'm I'm having to work around like how Halo 3 shader system works versus how Halo 2s did, so the colors even aren't gonna match up, which means I'm gonna have to probably brighten them a decent bit. Then I can bump everything else down actually because of that. Now I can let that shine kind of speak for itself. I can set the, what was it at? It was at like 30 before, right? Super shiny, way too shiny. Bring that back to one. Lancing specular power is at 18. If I cut that in half to uh, nine, that really spreads it out. I think I'm gonna keep that up at 18 though. I kind of liked it there. Nice and reflective. That's looking pretty dope, though. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of like that. Ah, oh, you're right. Blow me away, Zero. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, good. All right, we're moving on. Get special delivery going. Uh, without the lyrics, does it count? Uh, technically, yes. I, I I got copy striked. They don't actually, like, damage my channel or anything. It's just, like, it's best not to have it, you know? But, yeah, here we go. Look at this. I really like the look of this shader so far. Like that feels good. It feels like Halo 2, but kind of an improvement. Monko, yeah. So technically, even though it's kind of flat shaded on some parts of this, I'm gonna need to fix that. We can go ahead and copy these values over to the other um, scarab parts. I will say, even though this is technically the right reflection map that the Halo 2 Scarab uses, I want a better reflection map for this. So I'm gonna quickly poke around and see what that looks like. And that's gonna be actually very easy because all I have to do is go to the Scarab shader, wherever it do be. Over here, the whole shiny shader. I want Arc Sky Cube. Put that into here, overwrite it real quick. What does that look like? Oh my God, that's awful. That is just the worst. It's so shiny, it's like chrome now. 
It's green. It's so green. What even is this cube map? Why are you so green? Oh. That doesn't explain why it's so green still. Oh, probably because this. Ah! Uh... Oh, wait. This is breaking the covenant. This is not copyrighted music, I don't think. It's safe, I think. Yeah, I don't know about this reflection cube map. It's very shiny, which is kind of cool, but I don't think the Halo 2 Scarab was supposed to be this shiny. What do you guys think? I kind of like it, but like, I don't know. It's a bit weird. Uh, you know what? I'll leave it for now because I can always switch it later. Let's move on. Bruh. <laughs> I don't like the green. Yeah, I'm going to keep it just for a second because it has a nice kind of chrome shine to it, but I'll probably switch it back to what it was. I just want to see how it looks with everything together because I'm going to add some more shaders to it. Demon, thank you for the fiver. Can you set the cube map to the same cube map the Skybox uses? Yeah, 100%. I was thinking about doing that too. This is just the one that the regular Scarab uses. So I wanted to keep it there, but I will switch it. Let me just, uh, let me make the second shader right now and then we'll see. Scarab, I think it's whole exterior, section whole EXT. I will check. Yeah. This one's gonna look a little weird though. Cause uh, you know, the exterior is kind of flat shaded and it's kind of uglo, uggo. Thank you for that fiber, demon. Appreciate it. Pull up a pick of the Halo 2 Scarab. I mean, I could go in game and look at the Halo 2 Scarab, but sure. Actually, you know what's funny? If you Google Halo 2 Scarab, there's like no good pictures of it anywhere. The Halo 2 Scarab's... It's kind of flat lit a little bit. Like, it's not that shiny. But anyway, let's see. Okay. They obviously... It's very blocky, which is not going to make a very good viewing experience, but... Damn. Kind of sick looking, if I'm being honest. Uh, let's, let's get the textures hooked up on this one, too. The orange knight was never used. I mean red knight. Yeah, I mean pff, green knight kind of cringe, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just got... Um, hey, let's get this shader going. We got the whole exterior shader. That's the good one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole exterior. So I'm letting Halo 2 right now. This is what the Halo 2 shader looks like. I'll pull it over so my webcam doesn't cover it. About the same values for the colors and everything, but it uses metal curved scratch detail map and a different diffuse. So let's should be easy. This should take like two seconds. Full exterior, full exterior bump, and then instead of metal crackle, it is curved scratch. Ooh, oh, oh no. I don't know, I'm gonna fix that for sure. Just an ODST, damn, thank you for that 20 bomb, dude. That's huge, thank you very much. Now, modern a banished scarab nerd. Also, elite preferred species equals furry. <laughs> no if ands, or buts about it. Damn, you really came in here guns blazing. Got some brave and bold opinions that you're spouting out there. I don't know, maybe... Uh, wouldn't they be scalies, though, if, if you're going to take that line of thinking? Banished Scarab would be sick, though. That actually would be really sick. I would very much like to see a Banished Scarab. Okay. Why is it bumpy? I gotta fix the bumpiness here. Thank you again though, ODS2. That's actually a huge super chat. 20 bomb and god damn. Bit maps. Scarab hole exterior underscore bump versus scarab legs bump. Bitch, what the fuck? What's the difference? Legs bump versus hole exterior bump. 
What's the format different? Bump map from height map. <laughs> Literally everything is the same. What? Why is one bumpy and the other isn't? All right, how about exterior bump uses not bump map from height map, but ZBrush bump map from bump map. And we redo the bitmaps. That. Can't really tell if I fixed it to be honest. Kinda looks like I did. Damn, this is looking pretty sick though. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so brutal, split jaws. Sorry, I'll get cancelled for saying that. All the elites out there are so pissed that I just said that live on stream. Honestly, it's looking good. Obviously, it's weird because it's got like the, the sharp edges that I still need to fix because of the issue in Blender. But like, damn, this in Halo 3's engine is pretty sick, dude. Jeez, God damn. Yeah, that's I'm really like hey, let me get the, to give you guys like the close up experience. That's looking good. Let me get the I want to get the glow working, but like, damn, I'm really liking this. Let me like, I don't know if it's supposed to be this shiny, though. It's so shiny, it's like chrome. I think that is just because of the cube map. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> just an ODST. Thank you for that 10 bomb right there. Much appreciated. Wouldn't that be a scaly if you take a turd and polish it? Does it make it better than an unpolished turd? I. Hmm. See, your logic is not flawed, but also. <laughs> I don't know the proper answer to that. I'm gonna let that be a thought-provoking question for everybody in chat to answer on their own time. So that way I can plead the fifth. This is cool though. I I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. This is very sick. Um, I really wanna get this to be smoothed out and I'll figure that out. I'll probably do that off stream because that's gonna be like a whole process where I have to debug it basically over a long period of time, but what I will do is I want to get the glowing parts working. And I think to get the glowing parts working. Well, shit, I don't know, actually. Let me let me try it, though. So the first glowing part that I want is definitely going to be the head part in here. And this uses Scarab Bloom. So Scarab Bloom is a shader that uses which bitmap set? Somebody did make a Flood Scarab, by the way, Colin. I, was, I saw it on YouTube. If you look up Halo 3 Flood Scarab, somebody did it. So it uses the whole exterior. Cool. Um, let's let's do it. So Scarab whole exterior, bitmaps. You go to my shaders folder. Oh, shoot, you can't even see. So, uh, yeah, whole exterior is going to become Scarab Bloom. I'm going to re-import. Oh, shoot, didn't need to do that. Get the render model re-imported, and then I'll put the bloom material on. Just got back. What did I miss? Uh, it's looking pretty sick, is what you missed. It is sick as hell. Just an ODST. Thank you for the five dollar dues again. Damn, you're slapping with these super chats. You should try and see if you can get the flood scarab from Halo Wars One. It's pretty epic. Wait, what? There is not a flood scarab in Halo Wars One. You're joking. No way. No, there's not a, there's no Flood Scarab in Halo Wars 1. Are you sure you know Tron about this? It's from the campaign? What? I searched Halo Wars Flood Scarab. I did not get the results I was expecting. I don't see it anywhere. Yo, what? Somebody put the Guardian in here? Yo, I came up with that sort of design. That's sick. They put the red eye. That's cool. That was my own artistic vision. <laughs> okay, we've got the color in. Now I just got to make it glow. Look at that. Got the green stuff down there. We got the green stuff in there. Let's make this baby glow. So in Halo 2, the Bloom Shader... Does not have a detail map. Um, 
but it does have a bump map. So I'm going to remove the detail map and the bump map from it real quick. <laughs> So this is the bloom shader. It does not need a detail map. It does not need a detail bump, but it does need to have illumination. Self illumination from diffuse. Nice, there's glow. Do I just leave it like that? I feel like that's pretty accurate actually. Just glowing now, like that's that's it. It glows, period. Um. I, I, we did it. <laughs> cool, we did it. I should probably make it glow more. Because I'm competing with these. Look how glowy that is. Look at the bloom on that. There's no bloom on this. Can't really tell if it's glowing yet. It's just kind of bright is all. Let me make it like bloomy. Scarab, shaders. What does it have? Scarab. Is the Scarab engine the illumination one? Self illumination simple. Oh, just an ODSC. Thank you for the 10 bucks. That's a big old super chat. Much appreciated. It's a brown gray coating. I got the scarab, if I remember correctly. There were also flood tentacles coming from the legs before you hijack it with a Spartan. Is this. Is this Halo Wars 2? Oh, wait. Is this. No, that's a mod. The mod for the Protoss Scarab. Did Halo Wars 1 even have Flood? Is this it? No. I'm gonna be honest, I'm just not seeing it. If you can find an image and like link it and like tell me that you got it, I would gladly look at it. I'm just like, Google Images sucks for some of this stuff, so it's real hard to find it. But I'm still scrolling and I'm not seeing it. Hmm. That sounds cool as hell, though. Uh, in any case, though, uh, Scarab Engine, I was looking. Illumination, color white. How do I make it like super glowy? Have illumination. Maybe I just have to up the brightness a lot. We've got it set here. Self elimination color set density two? 50. What does it look like at 50? Oh, my eyes! Jesus. What about five? Ooh. Now we're getting somewhere. What about 10? Ooh, that's a lot of glow. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. Same it's tied to the bottom one, but go 50. No, no, no. Here's what I will do. All right. Here's what I will do. What I'm going to do is once this thing functions as a vehicle and it can like fire its head mouth turret, what I'm going to do is make it so the glow goes like, uh, what's a good value of it? Like set default five, right? So it's kind of glowing and it's pretty bright. And then when it fires though, the glow will ramp up. It'll be like, charging as the mouth bits are like opening and then it'll go up to like this right it'll be glowing super bright although that just looks like so sick in general but it's like only issue is it's over exploding out the bottom when i do that overexposed to all hell because normally it's supposed to look like that but i will admit the bloom pretty slick Pretty slick. 9,000. You want to see it at 9,000? I'll show you what it looks like at 9,000. <laughs> That's 9,000. Holy shit. This is 5. This is 10. 10's kind of nice, honestly. I'll leave it at 10 for now. I like that. It's intense, but like, it's not super overkill. Um, and the next glow bit, bloom, I don't care about bloom interior yet. What's additive lights? Additive lights are, oh, on the inside. Right. 
for gameplay purposes, I feel like the glowing light on its bottom should be its weak spot. That would be kind of cool. I could make it a weak spot. I could make it take more damage from that material. Um, you know what this does need, though? And now that I think about it, I don't think I even had this on my Halo 2 mod, is all the glowing light attachments that are supposed to be on this thing. Because it's supposed to have quite a few. Um, like, obviously this looks cool and it's glowy, but, like, it has, like, two lights on the bottom that are, like, shooting out their light volumes. There's, like, lights on the legs. But those are all not materials. Those are, like, particles and attachment. I'm thinking I should add those. So shiny. It looks like it got rained on. It's wet. Progress, though. I'm liking where this is going. Do you have an animation for the forward beam? I have animations for basically everything on this. If you were here at the very beginning of the stream, uh, I did have, I showcased, I had this working in Halo 2 pretty well. Right now, this is not a vehicle, though. I'm just, excuse me, getting the visuals, like, all kind of set up. That's, uh, that's basically where I'm at with it right now. Um, next up, though, I'm thinking I want to do... Wait, is that the end of the playlist? Not quite. I'm gonna do another Cortana mod? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just being honest. Uh, now I wanna do the interior. I'll do the interior parts now, because this thing needs to be able to wa be walked inside of. So let's do that now. Shaders. Whole exterior will become whole hint. And you know what? While I'm here, let's get all of the rest of the materials set. So we've got whole interior, whole exterior, leg shell, and bloom. Now we need bloom interior and additive light. Let's do bloom interior and additive lights. We'll just literally take the bloom, rename it to bloom interior. Then it should be the exact same for scarab additive lights. Boom. Just like that, we can re-import the scarab. And it'll look scuffed when it gets in there, but we can fix that. And it'll look pretty slick. Colin, <laughs> please do your last one slapped. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's not so bad, you know what I'm saying? Is this a, did that work or did that break? Okay, it worked, that's good. Oh look, and things are glowing already. That's That's looking pretty cool. Let's make this work properly though. But first and foremost, let's get this interior looking decent. And yes, I under, it is a bit dark. Let's go inside. So let's make it so interior has the right faders. We're going to first look at Halo 2. Halo 2 on the interior, what we're looking at is... Uh, interior, interior bump, and the detail map is panels, and the specular is dark gray. So, fuck okay, it, let's do all those. So, Garam hole interior, Garam hole interior bump, and for the bump. Detail map, I'm gonna keep that. The detail map was curb scratch before and now it was panels, I believe. Then coloring was also the same, but it just had those values. Okay, that should be correct. Is that right? Kind of intense and hard to see. I think that's right. Yeah, that I think is right. The ramp looks good. Probably end up switching out so it's like a little less shiny. Oh, right. Wait, it's not actually supposed to be that shiny. The specular cube map is supposed to be dark gray. <laughs> I can't get me. reason it's so ridiculously shiny Dark gray. 
Wow, that really makes it look like shit in here. <laughs> what? What? I'm switching that back immediately. I'll find a better solution so it's not like chrome shiny, but wow, that was such an immediate downgrade. Oh god, wait. Okay, yeah, now it's a bit shiny. Yeah, what? <laughs> Yeah, uh, we'll stick with that for now. Next up, let's get the glowy parts from inside of here, uh, which is like this little bit, and then we'll do these second. Let's get these little glow parts set. That should be easy as well. I already have the shader. I just need to set it up and match it to its Halo 2 values once again. That's uh, Bloom Interior. If I had to guess that uses Interior Tech. Interior. Interior Bump. And for the detail map on that, looking at no detail. Oh my God, it's so bright. I'm turning that down. <laughs> oh my God. I'll set you to one. What do you like at one? Uh, you're definitely gonna need to be a little brighter to cover up the fact that you look like poop. What do you like at five? Not bad, actually. I kind of like it at five. It might be a little too bright, but I think the lights on the inside are purple pink. Yeah, so basically the purple pink lights that you're thinking about are the holograms that go on the walls. And those, there are some that are built into it, like the ones I'm going to do up here. But though that's actually a separate object I have to attach onto it. So I'm going to do that uh, shortly. But first, let me get this final material set up. Bloom? Wait, what? The... Uh... Bloom interior has a glancing specular of crazy. Not that it matters. We won't be able to see it. So last but not least now, we'll do the glowing panels on the roof. Hopefully work. They have their own separate textures. Let's take a look at how they are set up here. Additive lights. Did you make an interior physics model? I'm just using the Halo 2 stuff. This is the Halo 2 physics model. Everything just works. Collision model, physics model, it's all there. I didn't have to make anything, it was actually really nice. Porting stuff is so pleasant and simple. So, right. The additive lights use Scarab Hole Interior, and that's it. They don't even have a bump map, roger that. I'll try to add a bump map just to see. Oh, that's definitely too bright. Let's definitely bring those down. At least by half. Okay, let's bring you back down to default. The bot is back. Kill it! Kill it! Alright, this is where we're at right now. The interior, these are really glowy in the floor. We have these lights. We'll make them less pixelated. I'll upscale all of these. Um, but yeah, so it's actually looking pretty good. It's it's too dark in here. I'm pretty sure there's a way I can add a light or something inside so that it's the, the light propagates a little better in here. But for now, this should be okay. Now that I have an illuminated shader, it's possible that I can re-import the render model and it'll like have some light. I don't know if that's how Halo 3 works. Let's see. Because I think it just imagines like a bunch of light rays on the outside. And the fact that I'm inside of it means, yeah, that it's just going to be really dark in here no matter what. But that's not the worst. I mean, it's kind of cool though, you know, like it's all dark in here. And then I go outside and it's like, oh, it's bright now on the surface. But like you look inside, it's computed where it should be dark. Didn't the bridge have a hologram? Yeah, so up here there should be holograms on either side right here. And then there should be like a hologram up at the top in this little curved part. And then there's like a bunch of holograms all over the walls in here. And that's all something that I, maybe I'll add that right now because those will look really nice. Just add some slight self-illumination to the inside. Mm, that'll look ugly. I don't want to do that. But I, I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try because that's actually like a, a good idea. But I like, I just have a feeling it's not going to look that good. So self-illumination from diffuse. 
make the illumination intensity like 0 0.1. Oh, I hate it. Why do I hate it? It looks so flat. Oh, it's cursed. I don't know. I really did not like that. I'm going to be honest. Self-illumination off. Yeah, it does something weird when you do self-illumination on. Like, it, it does some, like, weird stuff to it. Um, I'd love to be a modder like you. You should give it a try. It's fun. Modding is really fun. All right. So there are couple of different things that need to be done. First, I need to fix it so these flat lines go away and make it more smooth like the legs. Halo 3 soundtrack. How much you give me one hour of Halo Rock again? Um, so we, we do need to get the like the smoothness of the legs onto the main body. But we also need to add the turrets front and back, right? Like those are completely separate objects. I need to add them there and there. And then I need to add the holograms. That should be pretty easy to do, to be honest. Add some of them face maps to fix the. No, that's. Adding face maps is not going to make it smooth. That's not how that works. So this thing is well below the limit required. I don't think that. I don't even know what face maps do necessarily, but I don't think. Unless there's a limit of like 6,000. That's not what it does. I don't know what it does, to be honest. So anything that you say about it is going to be very confusing for me. If if it'll help though, let me know. I'd love to. I'd love to have it work. It splits up the model. Uh, okay. I'll add some face maps then. Actually, no wait. It already has a bunch of face maps. What am I saying? Maybe that's the issue. Actually. Uh, here, look. You can see it's already got a crap ton of face maps, or you can't really see because my webcam's in the way, but. Do face maps, it's got a ton of them. You can select uh throat face map. There, everything's already separated. It's all good to go. Um well let me see, merge by distance, right? On everything, which this is breaks it immediately. But if you see, face maps are still intact. It's and the triangle count is 6,000. Like, this thing literally only has 6,000 triangles. It's not exactly, like, breaking the bank. Yeah, but that doesn't smooth the model. It does. That definitely does. Does face maps create more regions and permutations? Yeah, it does. Face maps essentially are regions and permutations. But um, it already has them set up for one. Um, and for two, the reason that it's not smooth is because, as you can see, every vertice is disconnected from every other vertice. But if I were to merge them by distance, they actually become a solid object now. But I can't merge by distance because it's causing an error. Uh, there's some kind of area on the model itself that is, like, scuffed when I do that because it's not initially set up for that. So I'll fix that on my own time, though. That's, that's no problem. I fixed it once, um, and I can do it again. It's really no trouble. In the meantime, though, I don't even need to worry about that. What I do need to do is get the hologram object in game. Uh, so we do holograms and turrets. Oh, but I'm so tempted, so tempted. Because let me open up Halo Three or sorry, Halo Two Sapien. Uh, tags. Scenarios. Bossa. Bossa. Just an ODST. Thank you very much for those five United States currency tokens. Thank you very much. All right, I finally got the Flood Scarab from the Halo Wars. I sent the screenshot in the Off Topic channel. No way. All right, I want to see this because that, that, that sounds dope. Off Topic. Off Topic. Oh, oh my god, yeah, wait, that's actually a thing. Interesting. So this is the this is the flood scarab. Basically, it's like a brown scarab and it has like these big grave mine tentacles kind of wrapped around it. Interesting. That's pretty cool. 
I mean, I, I didn't know fully what to expect, but that's, that's interesting. It's like a Covenant Scare, but it's controlled by a Grave Mine or something. Somebody did... Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Somebody did a... Like, it was kind of cursed, but I kind of liked it, too. Wait, is my thumbnail for this not set? Hold on, the thumbnail for the stream is scuffed? Are you serious? Hold up. No way. Why did it show the wrong thumbnail when I went to my YouTube main page? Okay, but this is the uh, this is the Flood Scarab mod I saw somebody was making. It's so weird looking, but I like it in like a in a weird way. Look at they're so gross. <laughs> they're so gross. Uh. Uh. They shoot like flood balls. Definitely don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, YouTube screwed up. It shows the meme thumbnail I made the other day as that's so weird. I'm upset. Anyway, that's kind of cool. Yeah, now that I think about it, this thing doesn't have any of the attachments it's supposed to have. Blood balls. <laughs> Do they blow up in the video? Uh, I don't know, but give me one second because I am now upset. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I'm steaming mad. Why? All of the attachments, light volumes and lens flares, not on my modded scarab. I need to know exactly what they look like, and they're not on there. Freak out! Objects. I'm gonna add these on to my Halo 2 mod real quick, and then I can. Use those to add them onto my Halo 3 one. So I'm gonna Scarab. Scarab vehicle. Uh, attachments. I literally don't have attachments. I literally just did not have them. Beam ready mouth. There's a light volume on the primary trigger. Still light. Here, lights, another fill light, lights, lens flare and light volume, and last but not least, there's the mouth lens flare on primary trigger, save, oops, oh, there we go, okay, this is what I was trying to do, this is why my scarab didn't look right before, look at that. Uh, it's got like the lights coming out of the bottom now these big glowy ones. It's got like lens flares It's got lights on the legs the mouth is glowing and has like a fog in it like this was I can't believe I forgot that That is such an important step and this whole time. It just didn't have that Wow look at me real modder so I'm gonna add these to the halo 3 one because these are really sick. I really really like them. I should be able to port them over, like, pretty damn easily. So it's literally just one lens flare, one lens flare, one lens flare, two light volumes. Let's do it! Let's... freaking do it. Yeah. Cool. Didn't even notice the eye volume. Yeah, it's very subtle, but I feel like that's pretty important, too. Someone modded in the variant with the two turrets on the sides. Yeah, it's cool, too, because, like, if you look... Like, look, this is made for the two turrets. Like, straight up. They're supposed to be there. Like, that's it. There's a little slot for them. They're just not used, so they're always empty. Kind of weird, if you think about it. Now, let's get these effects in. Also, this Scarab is definitely darker than it's supposed to be, but I feel like that kind of fits Halo 3. Oh, this is going to look so cool once I've got it working. God, it's going to be so cool. Okay, let's get these effects added. That should be very easy, too. So I, I have them all here. The first thing I'm going to get is the leg shin little lens flares. 
They're very simple. They're using this Halo 2 Flares Generic 2 bitmap. Looks like this. Uh, let's export that. Flares Generic 2. They're, honestly, it might already be in Halo 3, but I'm just not going to take the chance. Flares Generic 2 goes in. Then next up we need... Um, I'll keep the lens flare. I'll open that in a second. But next we need a beam. That's a light volume. So now we need the fill light. Wait, that's two light volumes for the mouth. And then, okay, then this is the mouth light volume. It uses a bitmap called, it uses the same bitmap. So that's good. And then the mouth lens flare uses IAC engine bitmap. Okay, so we'll extract IAC engine. And that should be good. Take those, bring them on over to our folder. Paste them in and re-import all our bitmaps real quick. Cool. And now we can make these lens flares and slap them on real quick. Should be no problem at all. So first lens flare that I want to do and copy from Halo 2 is going to be the little shin lens flares. That should be easy. So in Halo 3, the lens flares. There. Halo 3 should be very easy. What's something that has lens flares? What's a vehicle? A Banshee? Banshee. You have lens flares, don't you? FX, running. Yeah, look, a boost lens flare, perfect. That, Banshee boosts, yeah, that should be okay. Boost lens flare, so I'll go back. And add a little FX folder. I'll put this in. And in Halo 2, it is called Leg Shin. Oh, I'll drag the Leg Shin in. Close all this extra stuff that I don't need right now. And refresh everything so that I can actually see the new tags that I just made. Cool, so FX, leg shit, rename. All right. So right now it's using simple flare.bitmap. I wonder if it's the same flare. Did they reuse it? They didn't, but maybe I'll end up using this. Excuse me. Simple flare.bitmap. This honestly might look better than the one I'm about to use, because the one I'm about to use is older from Halo 2. Yeah, it's kind of like crusty. Just an ODST, thank you very much for that 10 bomb right there. Damn, very generous. For those of you, wait, I feel like I gotta read this, like, your voice is like... For those who don't know, the Scarab from Halo 2 is a Type 47A Protoss, which is literally a heavy mining platform. The ones from Halo 3 are Scarabs outfitted for warfare. That's why they got more guns. In fact, I knew that. I, I did know that one. I did, in fact, know that fact. I like that too, though. It's weird that they got weaker in Halo 3 when they're supposed to get stronger, but... Whatevs. Distance along offset direction to test occlusion. Uh, let's see. Offset occlusion direction. None, none. I can literally copy this from Halo 2. It's really funny. None. Okay, reflections. Radius 0 0.7. 
What is a curve? Radius curve 0 0.7 to 0 0.7. Brightness curve. Doesn't need to be a curve because it's not tied to anything. Not yet. Maybe I'll make it when it turns on, the lights come on or something. So it'll be one for brightness. The color is also very easy to add. Add it directly from Halo 2. It's this color right here. Tint power one. And that is everything. So now I just need to actually attach this onto the scarab. Let's do it. So that's on our scenery object here. We do an attachment. It already has a blank attachment. I believe the marker is called leg shin. And we just go to FX, leg shin. Uh, maybe I got it wrong. Hold. It attaches to leg flare. Take. There we go. We got little lights. Beginning of our scarab little light effects and stuff. How does that compare to in game though? I'll have to like see how it compares to the actual ones. But so far, that's technically accurate to what it should be. I might swap these lens flare textures out though for like Halo 3 ones. They look a little off from the art style. But boom! The first effects set. Let's keep it rolling. Yo, Remorox, thank you for the five whoa, dollar dues. Well, it's not dollar dues, really. That's US currency, right? Woo! That's pretty That's pretty true. I think they need a little less flare. I agree. They seem really bright. Um, why did I close Halo 2 when I literally want to like look at it as a reference? I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back up. Yeah, thank you for those that five of Remorox. Much appreciated. Now add the Halo 2 Scarab sounds. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. You know what? If you if you hate modding Halo so bad, uh, go mod a different game. All right, that's all I'm saying, man. That's that's all I'm saying. My ears. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty true. All right, let's keep going with these uh, textures. So next up, I'm going to copy this lens flare. We're going to do... What's the other one called? We have leg flare and... Fill light, I believe this is for two on the bottom, so we're gonna get the fill light flare next. Be pretty easy. Literally name it to fill light. I'll put this into Halo 3 Gorilla. And we just start copying values over. Easy as that. Here's our fill light lens flare. I believe it uses Flares Generic 2 as well. It does. I'm just going to drag this over so I can very easily copy everything. Fall off angle is 60 and 90. Okay, before I forget, I don't know if I set those values for the original one that I just did a second ago. Uh, bu -bu 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 lagging. My brain is lagging. Okay, leg shins. Yeah, leg shins do not have a fall off angle. So save those. These are at 60 and 90, 0 0.15. None of this matters. Blah, blah, blah. Corona scale, who cares? 0 0.7, 0 0.1. Wait, actually, I'm also got the wrong one. Rotation function, rotation A. Rotation function scale is 180. And it doesn't have any more values there. Reflections are set. Bitmap index is 2. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to set it. Radius offset. Radius is 1. Brightness is 1. And the color, is the color right? No, the color is completely off. So we'll switch that. And then I think, oh, I have to attach it still, right? Uh, add an attachment. I fill light and the attachment location is called, what is it called? I 
don't remember. It's set to lights. Wow. Fired marker name. Uh. Huh? Okay, let's see. What did that do? Oh, oh god. I crashed. Straight up. I think I know why, but... Yeah, I, uh, I just crashed hardcore right there. Let me not crash. I think it was because the bitmap index was set to something that literally doesn't even make sense. Hello? My explorer just frozen right now? Oh, it's doing the sapien thing where I can't click on anything. Oh my god. Task manager. Alright, close all Halo the Master Chief collection processes. I got this. Big brain time. I can't use my PC, but I don't need to. Oh, I'm back. No, wait, I'm not. Damn. Grab task manager. Explorer. Not called explorer.exe, excuse me. My PC is actually like going to explode. It's like a memory leak or something. Okay, I got the tab sorted out. Alt tab, alt tab over to task manager, tab. And then I just need to restart it. Cool. Uh, create. All right, guys, give me one second. Back to modding in a moment. My, yeah, my PC is doing a very fun thing. back they're loading it looks like I <laughs> regained control over my PC we're back awesome alt F4 to fix your PC yeah that's pretty true I don't know why I didn't think of that yeah I gotta pull up all my windows and stuff again unfortunately but we'll get there what I get for crashing grill and sapien Alrighty, let's get our Halo 3 editing kit folder back up and running. Minor setback there. Let everything lag real quick. So we we're working on our objects, uh, vehicles, Arab H2. So here's all our stuff. We're in the FX folder. And then we also had our projects folder open where we have our H2 Scarab. Cool. Okay. Did not save with all the Scarabs down, so let me add them back in real quick. Objects, scenery. Gotta re-add our Scarab back into the map. Really never saved, huh? Boom, the scarab's back, baby. Progress. And it looks like 
our lens flares kind of work, sort of. They like sometimes appear, but then don't. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyhow, those are a thing. Okay, no, they work for how they should actually. Weird way. Yeah, they should be pointing down like that, and I can see them at full brightness. Fix my PC. Thank you so much, Melon. You're a real one. You are a real one. The fill light should have a color, though. I'm confused. Why is it just white? These are also just white, aren't they? Like slightly tinted green. Then when you actually look at them in Halo 2, well, we'll get there, I guess. Uh, now we got that. There's one more lens flare that we need. And that's for the mouth. And then we can move on to the light volumes, which are the cool light tubes that come out. So let's get that last one in there. Okay, this song? Oh. Oh, no. Uh, right. Last one we need is the mouth. It's literally just mouth.lens flare. Let's get that and bring it into existence. We'll copy over all the values from Halo 2 and it'll be real easy. More of an eye than a mouth. Uh, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Are you playing Halo music? Yeah. Hopefully it's not too loud. It looks like it should be pretty quiet. It's loud for me. Why is there always at least one bot when I'm in this stream? I wish I knew. I guess I'm just too damn popular. Bots love me. Okay, let me move this over. I'm just going to start copying values over. Inclusion in a in, uh, in radius 1 16th, blah, blah, blah. Um, scale by marker set to yes. Rotation function scale is 120. Rotation function is A. Um, what else? And so now we've got reflection. Radius is 1.8. And brightness is 1. Of course. I think that's it. All right, color. Got like this kind of cool purple color to it, which is pretty sweet. Zero point five zero zero point five four, looking good. Got a modulation factor, and very quickly, let me check the other ones. Uh, I can't read you guys' chats for a second because I have this up on my other monitor. But the lens flare, a zero modulation factor. Let me fix the other ones too real quick because their radius has like a funny function to it. I, uh, I forgot to fix. The leg flare. The same bot every time. Literally. It's the same one every single time. Okay, the shin lens flare I fixed. And fill light lens flare. Wait. Okay, yeah. Fill light lens flare. I need to fix. Okay, that should be good. Add in the mouth lens flare and put it on primary trigger. Turn it up. Got a lava scarab. That's basically the Halo Wars 2 scarab, if I'm being honest. I added the lens flare, but I'm not seeing. Oh. It only appears at a certain distance. That's not right. Oh, does it need a fall off angle? Mouth, lens flare. No, it doesn't. Get this working real quick. It should be pretty sweet once it is. 
on my markers or blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's not even using the right lens flare for one. That's a bit better. Color's not right at all. Uh, what? I want a 16. I'll just set you to 16. This is weird though. Radius curve 1.8. So it's like effect function, fall off function, linear. I didn't even notice this. That's going to explain a lot. All right, there we go. The lens flare is in. That's working let me go fix the rest of everything because i just realized i didn't have the fall off function set because that's a thing apparently halo needs a lava map isn't there i swear there was a lava map in like reach or something am i wrong Ayo, hey, ODST, thank you for the two dollars. Make the Scarab shootout Halo 3. God damn it, you too, ODST. Everybody, everybody always says that. Scarab fill light is set to that. Um, and then leg shin lens flare is the last lens flare. And then I think I've got everything set besides maybe some color tweaks after this. What is it supposed to be set to? Your fall off function should be linear. Okay, good to know. And I think tint power's gotta be 16, so I got you. Uh, and then I'm also gonna set the fill light tint power to 16, because honestly, I don't know, it's just being weird. The Halo 3 system is very different, I think. The fuck? What? Uh, why does it become so dark when I do that? I'll leave it at one then. Weird. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be white. Let's keep it that. All right, cool. Uh, what the light doing? That's a good question. But look at that. We got like lens flares added to the scarab. Now we have to add light volumes, which is the foggy kind of floaty stuff. So we're gonna do that. You work for three four three. You've made more content than they have in three months. Hell no, I should not work for three four three. They are professionals, and I'm just a dude messing around with stuff. Uh, I, I didn't make any of this. I'm just grabbing the stuff that talented people already made and I'm just like putting it all together. I can make my own stuff, but it's nowhere near the level of the stuff that I'm toying around with here. These are professionals who made all this. All right, we're looking for a light volume. So let's get the boost light volume from the Banshee. I mean, yeah, shit. If, if 343 wants me to work for him, hell yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Grew up and not take that offer, are you kidding me? But do they want me working for them? <laughs> I kind of doubt it. Maybe I should shoot an application their way, right? At least uh, shoot my shot. Be like, hey, I mod the games you made, and I know the engine. Yo, what is up? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. All right, we're going to do... I want to do the fill light volume first. This one's cooler to me. So this is going to be called fill underscore light as a light volume. You guys are going to like this. This is actually one of my favorite effects the Scarab has. It's really cool. It's like the spotlights that light everything up. So let's get these rolling. I'm going to make the AA turrets usable. 
Are you talking about the Type 27 anti-aircraft cannon? Because if so, it's already usable. I just need to finish it. Oh wait, you're talking about the ones on the Scarab, aren't you? Oh yeah, that as well. All right, this is the light volume system. It's a very interesting tag. It basically is uh, spotlights and stuff. So let's get it working. It should be very similar to the Halo 2 one, although Halo 2 will probably be um, much more simplified. It's got like this aspect area to it, which I don't think Halo 3 has. I think it's all just merged into one. But I will try my best to copy it. Uh, so I'm gonna move the Halo 2 one to my other monitor so I can look at them both at the same time. We've got volume, okay. Volume, volume. All right. Right count. This is going to be very interesting. Offset is going to be function. Oh, this is going to be tough. You know what? In order to really make this work, fun. just an ODST. Thank you for those five US currency tokens. Much appreciated. I know the engine more than what most employees at 343 can say. How the people who made their new engine are gone because of 15 month contracts. Ah, yeah. I mean, I know that that was probably a really bad move on their part for them to do that. But hey, you know what? The game did come out and I will say they upgraded the engine in some great ways in some cases. What in the world? Of, hold on. Um, what? Radius? Let's do 0 0.6 to 0 0.2. This is going to be interesting, but they changed how a lot of this stuff works between the games. So let me get the big stuff out of the way first. Color. What the fuck? Okay. But I, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to copy like anything over from Halo 2, so I'm going to have to eyeball this. I thought I was going to be able to. I absolutely cannot, though. So let's just open up the actual scarab. We're going to stare at it. We're going to eyeball it. And uh, we're going to make it work. So in order to make this a lot easier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap the little banshee thingies onto here. Onto the actual scarab. So this is my... Uh, what is it? Wait, wait, you not attach light volumes directly in Halo 3? Wait, what? It has to be an effect tag. Oh, what? Gotta be, an no, it doesn't have to be an effect tag. There's no way. Let me see. Banshee.vehicle. Are all of your light volumes in an effect tag? They totally are. <laughs> no! Damn it. I have to make an effect tag. Okay, fine. Screw it. I will. Being lazy is all. I can't just immediately slap this on with like nothing okay boost that effect so i go to you and i come back to scarab fx fill light dot effect all right so it's got parts to it uh it's got light volumes lens flares and light volume system so i'm going to delete delete, delete. I'll leave it at a light volume system and location to be pretty basic fleet and set the one location to fill light I believe and if I'm not mistaken that is where it needs to go no it attaches to the lights called lights it's literally just a part I don't need any Events. I don't need any particle systems. It's just single light volume for the scarab. That's the entire effect. It's just an excuse for this light volume to exist. Cool. And then, uh, 
And then, and then, and then, we attach it. It'll look kind of goofy, but it's going to be there. Or not. Oh, right. Lights. It's not appearing. Okay. Let's open up the light volume system anyway, and let's get it working without the need for functions like boost. It should be, we got one light volume. Basic, basic, curve, curve, two color, alpha, curve. The function is set to profile position. Watch in awe as I just stop caring and steal this away from something that's not tied to function. Objects. Slash. No, what was it under? Covenant pod. If I was a Bungie employee, I would put it under. What would I put it under? Levels shared? Levels shared. Mmm, flood pustules, my favorite. Flood crusty plates. I love fr the flood crusty plates. They're so cool. We got all the BFG stuff. What are they called? They're Covenant Watchtower Pods. Let me search Watchtower. Oh, interesting. The Watchtower base has Rav Lift light volume system effects. I'll delete fill light effect. Fill light, light, just the light volume system. Fill light. Fill light. And yes, you guessed it. Fill light. Bots back. Kill it. Kill it. Somebody get it out of here. Get it out of here. I gotta wait for my YouTube to up update. I had it in the background for a little bit. Uh, the light that effect, yes. So I open you up. I'm gonna have to restart Sapien, aren't I? Delete that. Save. Exit. Restart you. Um, and so what does this have? It's got an event called looping. It's got an apart right there. It's got particle effects, which we definitely do not need, but would be cool in the future. And we got grav lift, which is the light volume system, but we're instead going to switch it over to the one that we now have duplicated, which is called fill light dot light volumes. Be all we need. We load it in. Should be pretty good. Now playing follow in flight. Is this? It is. Good ear. Ah, it crashed. Stop crashing. I didn't say you could crash. Idiot. Game. Dumb. Stupid. Delete. Alright, let's try that again. While it loads, it's time. I've been sitting down for, oh my god, what? Demon of Song with the 50 bomb. Holy shit. Demon, thank you for the $50 reduce. That is insane. Wow. That is very generous of you. Thank you. One, 
check your Discord. I send you a recording of the model I use. Okay, I'll do that. And two, ODST. I'll use this 50 to say, elite preferred species, just know that being a human in-game is boring. If you want to be a human, then do that in real life. Ooh. Damn, it's getting dramatic in here. It's getting very dramatic. What's gonna happen? The war is beginning. Uh, let me check. Let me see what your model looks like. Oh. Oh god, that's horrifying. The TV static is like fucking terrifying. I, I'd open it on stream, but I don't want to leak Discord on stream, but like... Oh my god. That is spooky as hell. I gotta see you in game with that. Once I get my uh, Halo Infinite Spartan set up in VRC. No pain. I need to fix these two because they like show through stuff, which is weird. But overall, it's getting there. It is getting there. Um, now, let me add this effect on. It crashed last time and it upsets me. But God, a demon again. Thank you for the 50. That's actually so huge. We've, there have been so many super chats tonight. Two, like, damn. Y'all are crazy out here. You are crazy. Oh, I didn't crash that time. Look! Oh, it's beginning! The light volumes! Demon, thank you for the fiver. Sorry, bro, my VR is broke. It hard freezes my computer? Please troubleshoot that if you haven't already. I'm sure you have, but like... God, that's... that's really sucks. That really, really sucks. The lights... Okay, so these are really not that bright, though. They're supposed to look like... These. Also, these lights are supposed to be a lot bigger, aren't they? We gotta get these light volumes looking good. Because right now they are not looking good. They need to be very blue, very bright, and they gotta start small and get bigger. Well, let's get it going. Oh my god, my ears! Please! The Halo 2 editing kit is so loud. Holy hell. Alright, let's let's get this going. Are those lights or like plasma exhaust? I... That's a good question. I don't know. I never really asked. Hmm. Maybe they're exhaust. Kinda makes more sense. <laughs> Alright, so the curve color is gonna be a very intense light blue. A little less than that. And it's gonna fade to like white over its lifetime. Input. I don't know what the fuck a profile position is, but but I I don't know what that is. But we're just gonna assume that's how that works. All right. That, did I break it? Now it's just invisible. Okay. If I take it back to basic, come back. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I know why it's not appearing. Light volumes suck a lot. Whenever you're editing an effect, you have to completely respawn it each time. But yeah. The color did in fact work. Um, Demon? Fiverr? I would either need to factor reset my computer or get a new one to fix it. I've tried my... I can still play VRC in desktop mode though, like plebs. Factory, hmm. It's gotta be like a driver thing or like a hardware issue of some kind, like... I don't know, that's just... Sucks. That's so stupid that it would... I don't know. Not what I wanted it to do at all. Oh, 
Oh, wait, this is the alpha. Oops. Profile in 10. 50. Are you? I hope you can figure it out, though. Do we oh, my eyes! Fuck! We can figure it out, though, because that's super lame that that's happening. It's definitely be worth it to, like, see what you can do. And obviously, I'm sure you've tried really hard already, but... Thick light tubes. Yeah, you know what? I don't even think I'm going to do this as a curve. I think I'm just going to leave it back at one. That one at two. A nice one's a little more intense. Oh my god. Just an ODST. Also, with a 50 bomb, a huge super chat. Holy shit. Okay, then. The drama continues. Jesus, thank you, by the way. That is so generous. Dear Demon of Song, I regret to inform you that you may be a furry. P.S. Humans stay winning. Split lips like you stay losing. Damn! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What the hell? He really came for you. This is... That was abs... I don't... God. I didn't see nothing, man. I didn't see nothing. If anybody else, I didn't see shit. This is it, Cody. Manufactured drama. Paid actors. Okay, we're getting somewhere. The light tubes are starting to look right. Need to be brighter. They're gonna hit the- Oh shit, wait! Oh my god, what if they do though? Oh fuck, I'll have to actually do the gaming chair. It was just a meme, guys. It was just a meme. Please. You don't actually have to do it. <laughs> or, I, uh, uh. Oh my god. Holy shit. Demon of Song with the another huge 50 bomb. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. What the fuck? This drama is intense. They, all right. I'm not a furry. I just work for them. I can pay for these donations because of them. The fact of the matter is, real life as a human sucks. Let's go have fun as an alien instead. See? You're making... Bro. <laughs> Guys, chill, <laughs> chill, bro. Just an ODST with a literally a one hundred dollar super chat right now. Uh, hey, I rejected. Forgot the password for the group chat. But I will be getting this one hundred dollars back after we've got enough people invested in the drama, right? Forgot the password for the group chat? Yeah. Yeah? They get them real invested in the drama. What? What? Ah, oh, yeah, the group chat. Yeah, yeah. No, no, she's yeah, of course, I know what you're talking about. The group chat, yeah. I, I totally know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, for sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. No, totally. I actually don't even know what to say. Like, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just vibing, man. Vibing out. Bro, what is... Oh my fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Demon of song. Demon of song as well. 
Thank you for the $100 super chat. Drama bomb. Jesus. What do I even say? You guys are actually insane. You're having a drama war about like furries and throwing slurs out like split lips. I don't know if I can take those kinds of slurs against elite Sangheili races in my chat. This is just, just not right. Thank you. Fucking crazy. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck my ears! <laughs> God damn it, ODST. You know what? You know what? You you kind of have a point there. Thank you for the two dollars. Much appreciated. Carestream. You know what? I think I need to stand up for a minute. I, I the brain is loading that you guys just actually slapped that many super chats at once. Okay, enjoy enjoy a little bit of chair stream while I go like grab a something to eat. Having off, and I, so I can process everything. One sec. Okay, I, I missed a super chat. I, I heard it. Oh, I can't. That guy. But I'm back. What did I? What did I miss? AJ, yo, AJ with a fiver. Thank you. Really been enjoying these streams. Will there be a, a solid focus on reach style building pieces? Two story tower comes to mind. It's a good example. Yeah, I do have. Uh, you probably know this if you if you've been following everything. I do already have some reach pieces in the game, um, and I, there's going to be even more coming as well. So. There will be, I won't say like a heavy focus, but there will definitely be all the good ones in there. Oh my god, guys, I've barely eaten today. Look at me. Can't really see, I guess, but I'm like. I'm shaking. Gotta eat. Got some leftover pizza with some ranch. Yeah, I'm sorry to end your, um, your fantastic stream, your chair stream. I'm gonna take like a very short break here for a second while I eat. A good Halo modding related videos to view today. Mm, let me check Twitter. Mm. Ooh, ooh, wait, Green, you got the Banished Scarab video on your channel. Hold on, let me go find that. Uh, yeah, here we go. I want to watch this for a second. Pause. Order a Big Mac again? No. Ender Slayer with the $2. Thank you. <laughs> Bazinga. This is Green. Mr. Green Knight with the wrench in chat. 
This is his mod, the Banished Scarab. Oh my god. Am I muted? I haven't muted. Oh, that sounds so cool. God, that's terrifying that you can barely see it. <laughs> god, that is so terrifying. AJ with the fiber, thank you very much. It's very generous, I appreciate it. I know you've adapted a few reach pieces, but that's cool to hear. Do we implement any original forge pieces in line with those simple buildings? Yes, I already have a couple. Nothing complex yet, just of a series of large flat plates. But yes, I do have some added in, and I'll do more as well. So cool. Um, and Demon, thank you for the fiber as, again as well. My avatar is a good screensaver if you like terrifying thieves. Actually, though, it's spooky as hell. I should show it on stream, but I don't want to do Discord. Oh my god, wait, another guy did a scarab, a banished scarab mod. Check this out. Oh god, we don't we don't listen to this guy. He sounds crazy. Damn. God, I miss extinction too. Oh, so spicy. Vanished, grab, and reach. That was a cool mod. I, if I was you guys, I'd subscribe to this guy. He makes cool stuff. But also, secondarily to that, this is actually a better Vanished Scarab mod. It's made with tools, and it has way cooler effects. You should subscribe to this guy, too. Green Knight. I think he's even in the chat right now. Maybe. Maybe kind of sort of in the chat. Even yeah, your screen that would be a terrifying screen server. Seeing you in game is gonna be horrifying. <laughs> Just <laughs> ODST. Like you're the fiver. No tongue, no hair, and probably no parental connection to your children since you lay eggs. Split lip slander is tolerated here. Damn. Savage. <laughs> Yay! Amazing how well it fits the uh, Reach R style. Yeah, kinda. Let's peruse this Green Knight guy's YouTube channel. Let's see what he's up to. A little infinite content. Imagine. Oh, wait. God, I do miss Extinction too. Look at. Hornet was cool in Extinction too. Now we'll actually be able to make it properly too. This was so good. This was without mod tools. Not this video. Demon, thank you for the fiver. Now, let's have a game where we only play a thing, Healy. Your Twitter has more content? I'll go to your Twitter. Gotta be careful though, Twitter can be uh, not safe for work sometimes. Demon, we should do one where not only, we should just do like a mod. Maybe I'll do it in Reach where it's just, we play as like a bunch of, uh, like yeah, we play as a bunch of just Covenant. Not just the split jaws. Hmm. <laughs> this is a really cool mod, though. There's no audio again. Oh, oh yeah, that's Green Knight guy talking. That's him. That's Green Knight right there. And AJ, thank you for the fiver. Much appreciated. I genuinely, genuinely do appreciate it. Last fiber for the night. I really enjoyed your work in the Halo modding community. I'd love to see the mod scene grow and flourish. Me too. Honestly, one of the most tempting reasons to make a uh, a, a bunch of tutorials again is just so like more people can get into it. That'd be really cool. But thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Cool stuff though. Hello, let me. Tab over real quick. So I'll bring up your Twitter. Just want to make sure it's safe. Right. All right, we're gonna browse this. Some, some Halo nerd, I guess. I don't even know who this guy is. Front Goblin. Front Goblin.
Yo, my dude's got hops. It's not you that's not safe for work, Green. But I, not everyone I follow posts safe for work stuff. I follow like VR chat people, girls who follow, who don't always post the most uh, safe for work stuff. Oh my god, the yap yaps. <laughs> Damn. This is pretty good. Okay. I'm done eating. Let's get back to adding some effects to the scarab. Jesus loves you. Halo Rock is back on. Let's fucking go, boys and girls. Hey, I, I know you're in here. But seriously, let's get this. Let's get this bread. So I realized I had an epiphany. A serious epiphany. Look at this. Ah, my ears! Stop, Halo. Halo. Halo? Better. Here's what I realized. Look at this light volume. You see it? Is it really a blue light volume that fades to white? Or is it two light volumes? A blue one and a white one. Because I'm starting to think it's a blue one and a white one. I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna make a real stinky one. It's gonna be stinky, and you're gonna like it. What? Be like this. Fade down, and the alpha. A little bit like that, I think. On it. So, okay, yeah, that, but it's gotta be smaller. It needs the alpha to be lessened. So I'll show you guys why I'm doing this in a second. So, like that, but I think it's too long now. Now that I'm looking at it in comparison to the one in game, it's. Oh, it got an offset, doesn't it? Offset. No, it doesn't. Wait, what? Is it one? Ah, there we go. Too long is all. We're gonna set that length or to two point five, maybe. That's not so bad, but it needs to be brighter. It's got to be like a neon blue, so to speak. It's, it's nice though. Like, look at that color that it's got. Falcon or Hornet, which is better? Falcon, definitely Falcon. Don't get me wrong. I think the Hornet's a cool ass vehicle, but when I compete against the Falcon, oh. Okay, no. Profile intensity needs to be one. How do I increase the brightness? Thickness, length, density, blah, blah, blah. Inner glow is going to be the name of it. How do I make it brighter? That's my question. I got color, I've got alpha, and intensity. Is it not intensity? Duplicate this. This will be outer glow. The entire thing is going to be white. And it's going to be a lot bigger. The thickness is like here, here to here. The alpha, though, is going to be at most like 0 0.5. 
outer right profile length is going to be four, I mean. I'm confused. Why is that doing that? It needs to be separate. Bot, bot, kill it. Thank you. Thank you for killing it. I appreciate it. I think I might be fundamentally misunderstanding something here. Okay, inner glow and outer glow. Oh, wait. Inner glow, brightness ratio, five. So they're like sharing length. Shouldn't be. Maybe I'm just not looking. Outer glow. Length of four. Length four. Profile density two. Oh. Oh, there we go. Now we're making progress. That's more of what I wanted. 2.5, length 3. Okay, now that's looking a little better. A little too thick, but now, okay, see, this is what I've been trying to do this whole time. If you've been staring at me wondering why I'm doing this, see, there's like a small blue cone in there, followed by a large white outer one, and that's what I noticed was in Halo 2. It's a small, bright blue one with a large, faded white outer one. So I was trying to mimic that the entire time. Wasp hurts my soul, same. I don't like the Wasp. I think the Falcon was the thickest. Hornet was amazing. Falcon improved. Wasp dropped the ball. Gotta be honest. It's not a bad vehicle. Like, it makes sense and it's pretty cool, but like... Damn. Already had a good vehicle. Profile intensity, 500, please. Yeah. Oh! 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 500, but then a profile thickness. Profile density, 0 0.1. Ah, what happens now? What will you do? Profile density, 0 0.5. What's going to happen? Oh my god, my eyes! It's alright, that's not good. Profile intensity is one no matter what. Uh, profile density two. And by two, I meant 200. Yeah, that's, that's not good. About 20. 20 look like. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Weird. That's what profile density. What the fuck? That is so strange looking. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave you at two. I think it was at like four before, actually. Yeah, profile intensity at four, two. I'm trying to just get it to glow, to be honest. But like nothing is really giving me the result that I want. Ugh. It, it's kind of off, you know? It's like that versus that. And it's like kind of sort of it, but it's like just not. And also the blue color is kind of off. It should be like more blue blue. Ugh, it's just it looks bad. Bothering me. I want I want to get this right. I mean this is like an important effect for this. The blue is way shorter in two. Yeah, you're kind of right. It is. Let's do the length like two there. And then on the outer glow, I think the outer glow white part is like too thick. A little too long. Let's do like 2.5. What does that bring us to in the effects? Yeah, it's not so bad. In fact, it's like getting there. The blue, I feel like, should be brighter still. But I don't know really how to brighten it up. I'm trying to figure out, because I don't mess with light volumes too much. At least I haven't. 
I, there's not like HDRI. I can't just increase the brightness. I feel like that's what intensity does. But when I double the intensity of it, it looks like that. It becomes like solid. And that is definitely not what I'm trying to do. It's three different lights. It does it look like it is, doesn't it? Let me actually check. Is it three different lights in game? Fill light volume. Volumes. It's one volume. It's just that Halo 2. Yeah, the blue has like an outer darker color, right? But it's I think it's just because Halo 2 does light volumes differently. Function type identity, but there is no identity function. A completely separate like system. Like they definitely revamped it. You know what I think I will do though is I'm gonna I'm gonna like mimic it by doing a third light volume in there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do profile intensity of four. I'm gonna make this inner glow length like 1.75 with the density pretty high, right? And it's gonna be light blue color. It'll be this like intense inner glow like that. Now let me let me bring the thickness down even a little bit. Like that. Let's see where that leaves. Yeah, it's kind of like this intense inner glow. I might even turn it down a little bit, right? But now we're going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to call this inner glow 2. And this one's going to be a much darker blue like that. The intensity is going to be down to, let's just say 2. The length will be 2. And it'll be a bit thicker. Quite a little bit, yeah, decent bit thicker. And the length, 2.25. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, see, now it's kind of got that dark blue around the edges. I think it needs to be thicker, though. Okay, now this is slowly becoming progress. You swear you heard my cat? I don't think so. Can you put the cat on stream? Probably go get her. She's real shy right now. If I picked her up even, she'll let me, but she'll get really scared. She's It's so funny. She's like this weird cat where like she's terrified. But the moment I like force myself to pet her, she's like, ah. And she'll just like love and just like start going to be like freaking out and everything. So funny. I think it's dark, right? That'll help me see it better. I kind of see it, you know? It's kind of there, but it's like really... that well. I'm going to make it like really thick. So I can figure out what the hell I'm looking at here. Okay, now it's showing up a bit. I'm going to make it like length of four. What does that look like? Well, it's definitely there. It is 100% there. I think the intensity needs to be up slightly. What happens when I do that? By the way, tons of trial and error. You gotta love this stuff. Yeah, that that definitely brings it more to the color I'm looking for. It's the outer glow hitting right. But I need to like pull it down a bit like that. And maybe even more down than that. And the inner glow also I need to pull down like a lot. In fact, I'd even delete this. Have it like... Yeah, that makes it very pointy. Too pointy, I'd say. Needs its offset back. Five. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm actually really liking that. Let me pull this down a little bit. The bot, oh my god. Yeah, all right. I know that this has become very tedious. But actually, I think this is it. I think I've finally found out like where this needs to be. Yeah, this is starting to look a lot better.
And I, all I think I need to do last is get the intensity down just slightly. Yeah. And when I compare that to Halo 2... Even in Halo 2, I don't even know if it's that intense. But it's kind of like... Look. Kind of like it thickens out and then it kind of fades. This is getting really close to where I want it. Like that. Uh, and then... All right, let's get this finalized. And then finally, the outer glow, which is way too thick from so far. Bring it down a little bit. The alphas should be set right. The length is 2.5, I'll set it to three. Then I need to also offset it back. Five, all right, where are we at? I, like in my head, this makes sense. Ooh, ooh. White needs to start a little smaller and end a little bigger. Ooh, it's getting there. It has been three hours. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been live for three hours, if that's what you mean. And length. 3.5 just to add a little bit extra to it damn damn that's kind of it though that is kind of it i think want a little bit of extra white in there yeah i i kind of think i nailed it here i think that's it i think that nails the effect like, I kind of want to tweak it a little more, but, like, I feel like I kind of hit it. I think the blue light might honestly be a little too long, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tone those down. But you can see this is how much of a perfectionist I am. If you're ever curious why it might take me a long time to, like, make mods and stuff, you're witnessing exactly why. Like, I sit here and I tweak values, like, to a hilarious degree. Demon, thank you for the fiver. Three hours and going strong from your tone of voice. True. Uh, we're going to be getting animations on this before the end of stream? Maybe. Maybe. Cause, but I have to, like, convert it to a vehicle to do that. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Part of me wants to fix the model itself before then, but that's kind of tedious. Spotlights are excellent. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like they I, they hit the right feel. The problem is the lens flares no longer really show up in there, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but... Alright, so that's the lens flares in Halo 3 versus Halo 2. I think they actually need to be a little smaller. I think the white needs to... Okay, I have something I'm going to do for the white real quick. I know that it probably doesn't matter. Animations for end of stream, though, I'm trying to... Maybe. Maybe. I don't want to promise anything, but maybe. Okay, I kind of achieved what I wanted with the white fade on that, but now I'm gonna set the profile length to like 3.25, pull it back a little bit. I actually do think I, I made these a little too long. I'm just gonna pull them back, make them a little smaller. 1.25 is the longest the dark blue outline gets, which means this being at 3.25 is pretty excessive. I'll do 2.5. Take it back. I go back. Take me back. Wait, the length of inner glow is too. Better glow. What? I right, on inner glow, light blue, length one point five. Outer inner glow two, length two. White outer glow, length 
free. Four. Okay. Yeah, let's just I'm gonna leave it at that for now. That's pretty that's pretty solid. I like that. I like that. That's looking good. Looking pretty hot. Okay, let's tune down the alpha just a little bit. I'm just tuning down the alpha just a little bit, guys. That's fine. I don't have a problem. Better. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'll tweak that later because I'm sure it'll bother me that they're not perfect, perfect. Um, I want to do now the last final part of the effect is I need a little light volume for the head here. This one will be way simpler to do. It's literally just a green light volume that just sits in there. So I'm going to do that real fast. It'd be very easy. Um, strangely enough, I have, okay, so I have this effect. So one thing I'm noticing, I, in Halo 2, the light that comes off the eye here is like very bright white, but it's also purple, like very purple. And I have it set to be purple in Halo 3, but it's just like not showing up quite as bright. But let me see if I can make that a little more purple, a little more bright. Because it's kind of bothering me that it doesn't match up the way that it ought to. Brightness curve. What if I made it like... That kind of helps. And then modulation factor. What if I set you to like 0 0.75? That's definitely more purple. That helps. What if I set it full modulation power? That's... Brightness curve five. I mean that five brightness. Oh, okay, that's too. Pretty okay. Yeah, definitely okay. All right, these effects are looking pretty good. Bot, bot, kill it, kill it, bot. All right, last thing. Let's get a light volume now. I, I've spent enough time not having a mouth light volume and enough time on this other one. Uh, so this one will be called, I believe it's just called Mouth, if I'm not mistaken. Mouth, Lens, Flare, Beam, underscore, Ready, underscore, Mouth, dot, Light. All right, let's add it in. So last thing we're adding now is for the effects anyway. Beam ready mouth effect, primary trigger. Dimitri Theodorides. Already, yeah, Dimitri Theodorides. Thank you very much for those two pounds. Pounds? I don't know, I'm a American. But anyway, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Are the Scarab moving strips specific to Halo 2? Um, the music, I mean not music, the moving scripts are specific and like certain ones only work in that level because like they're built specifically around the buildings and the level geometry, but there are animations for it that work on any geometry that I can make work in Halo 3. So some yes, but not all. Which is good. The fact that not all are specific to Halo 2 is good. It means I can use them for Halo 3. Okay, I'm just going to set up this effect. This will have it so uh, the mouth, the green mouth light volume that I'm about to make will work uh, where it needs to. So save that. That effect is all good. Use the Halo rings to wipe out the bots. God, if only. Okay, so now we can put the mouth light volume on. Oh, you can see it's even scuffed already because it's in there. That is not the color or anything we want out of this. It's screaming. <gasps> hey, let's uh, let's open this shit up, yeah. Uh, right here. All right, so this one should be way simpler. 
Demon, thank you for the fiver. Much appreciated. Uh, Salty Showman asks, could you make AI pathing on it? Have AI moving on it? Y yes. I don't know how they did it with the Scarab in Halo 3, but it does have pathing and the AI do move around on it, if I'm not mistaken. Don't know how they did it, though. No, I actually, I do know how they did it. It was with reference frames. So yes, 100%. 100%, that's totally possible. And yeah, I, I might just do that too. We'll see though. All right, let's get the uh, the color right. Oh, two. Steam ready mouth light volume. What color are you? So it's like that pale greenish color. Good to know. I like that color. That was the color for my superpowers for my superpowers mod. That color. Set that, and then I'll need the length to be pretty short. Like two, I'd say. What's that look like. Oh, well, it's actually kind of getting there. It's probably a little too long, I'd say. I need to be a little wider. Let's do like 1.5 and thickness. Pretty, pretty chunk. Solid three. That leave us. Three is too much. That's what I. That's what I've learned. Not bad. What does it look like in two again? Fades around there and the intensity kind of falls off. That's. Why does it look so much crazier on mine? Mine's just a lot. Oh, it has more thickness to it. That's why. Or not thickness. Got more intensity. There we go. Now that's a fucking scarab. I do have some things I need to fix on this, but damn, this is already looking pretty cool. Ah, oh, I cannot wait to see this thing animated and working and in motion with all the geometry on it fixed and everything. It doesn't even have the holograms or the uh, turrets on it or anything yet, and it needs those bad. Wait, that's only three attached? Oh, hell yeah. All right, there's a couple things I need to fix here that are really bothering me. One, lens flare here, not looking good. I need to fix it immediately. So I'm gonna do that. I believe it's the fill light. What about adding the Revenant to Halo 3? It needs more love. Green Knight was doing that. Yeah, Green was fucking totally doing that. It looked really good too. It's a lot distance along offset direction. Fantastic. Ah, copy strike, you're right! Fuck, I'm, I'm screwed. That played for way too long. Thank you. Uh, why is this so small? Radius curve, five. I'm giant. Uh, this is having a strange problem where it only appears at a very specific angle. I think because it's set very early. I'm just going to run this. Obviously, five is too big. Set back to one. Instead of very early, I'm just going to have it on early. Be 
not. I'm confused, but L curve X. Oh my god. Oh my eyes. What the actual fuck? Why did I do that? Okay, I need to like look as, from a player's perspective how these lens flares work because they are not looking right from my little camera angle here. Okay, yeah, that makes way more sense. They don't always show up. That's. I think they do genuinely need to be bigger. They're just like not showing up. Yeah, too small to notice. Didn't like that, screw it. All right, cool. And then the mouth light definitely needs to have occlusion because it's not like getting occluded by anything. Mouth, lens flare, please start occluding. It's really bothering me that you're not. Value doesn't change. You off function early. Not early. But late. Okay. Linear off angle thirty. Cut off angle. There we go. That makes way more sense. Much better. Last but not least, I gotta take care of these little legs. Let's take care of the legs. Perfect. They're taken care of. All together now, the effects are looking pretty good. Well, not perfect, but better. Now, let's put this next to a Halo 3 Scarab. Because, I mean, why not, right? We can. Whatever we want. Ooh. That's that's dope. The first time in Halo 3's engine both scarabs are here. Ooh. It's still yeah, is it it is still T posing. It'll be shorter. It'll crouch down more which like uh you can see it here. It'll crouch down more like this. See where the knees are kind of like level with it. Whereas while I have it T-posing here, the knees are pretty far down like that. The whole body will like come down once I have it animated. 
But yeah, right now it is still T-posing. Damn. 5'11 next to six foot. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty solid progress though, all in all. I'll say. Uh, now though, I wonder. There's a couple things I want to fix on it. Like the model itself, it's having some issues. But I'm not opposed to giving it an animation right now, like an idle animation. And that should make it crouch down. In fact, I think I should set the entire skeleton to crouched uh, at any given time. I think that's how, uh, how it's uh, supposed to be. I'm going to try that real quick. Fortunately, that means I have to do something really boring for like a minute here. So I'm going to do that. Let me undo real quick just to see where I'm at. Doing, I'm undoing, I'm doing. Uh, save. So I'm going to do something really boring for a second. Uh, which, I'm going to rename all these bones. Every single bone on the entire scarab armature. Yes, if you're technically inclined, I know that there's a mass rename function in Blender for objects, but for whatever reason, it does not seem to be bones, even though it says it should. I have to manually name all of these by removing the B underscore at the beginning of names. If you're curious why I have to rename every single bone, the reason is I cannot extract animations. At least I don't believe you can extract animations. By, uh, from Halo 2 properly. Maybe I'm wrong, but I use a program called Bonobo. It was made by some random guy in 2009. By random guy, I mean some talented guy, but nobody's heard of him in a long time. He hasn't updated his program called Bonobo in a very long time either. Only known program, public anyway, that can extract animation. I thought the mod tools add on could remove the B underscore. Wait, can it? Oh my god, please tell me it can. I recently updated it too. Prefix. Oh, wait, you can set prefix. Bone. Name all the bones in this. Bone rotation. Renames prefixes for the selected objects. Oh my god. Oh, that literally exists. Holy shit. Super caboose. I literally didn't know that. I actually feel so dumb right now. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Thank God, God, General 101, what a real one. What an absolute legend. His tools are just something else. Okay, but uh, the reason I needed to do that was now I can import animation. I'll import JMA. I don't have the animations in the folder. They should be all the way. Over here? Idle. I think idle. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, it's loading. Hopefully this works. Please work, please work. Loading for a really long time now. Definitely should not be taking this long. Unacceptable. Oh, my poor cat. That's why I hate it when I slam desks. Oh well. Closing uh Blender. Don't want it. I'm happy with your behavior recently, Blender. I'll do on that. A 
right, we're gonna import an actual animation from the scarab. Not mistaken. I have all of the scarab animations somewhere. Ah, I know where they are. Idle, don't need that one. Uh, it should be under back. Cause I don't know how many of you guys actually watched this video, but I literally ported the Halo 2 Scarab to Halo 1, like Halo Custom Edition at one point. Oh my God, wait, did it make a noise on stream? You're joking. My microphone, I'm so sorry guys. Yeah, my microphone does a thing when programs crash sometimes. I completely forgot about that. Uh, Tags, vehicle, Arab. And I want combat, walk front. We'll let that, this one will look. That was the sound of the scarab dying in anger. <laughs> Oh, well, basically we get to vibe out here, but I guess uh, it could be worse. We could not have a scarab to look at in the meantime. Beautiful. It's just in need of a couple of touch-ups, but yeah. <laughs> so wonderful. The updated engine, and I haven't even upscaled the textures. Gah! You should seriously slap a Type 27 anti-aircraft cannon onto the Halo 2 Scarab. So what you're saying is I should slap... Uh, sorry, you're saying that I should slap a Type 27 anti-aircraft cannon onto the Type 47 Ultra Heavy Assault platform? Is that what you're saying? Because, I mean, it would be pretty cool to t slap a Type 27 anti-aircraft cannon directly onto a Type 27 Ultra Heavy Assault platform. Like, that would be, that would be pretty cool. Okay, we're still loading. I'm surprised this is taking so long. Maybe it's because I'm streaming. My PC is just struggling. Okay, Halo 2A, Scarab. Yeah, but like, where would it go, you know? Would it go like here where the old little tiny turret goes? Like, look how small that turret is. If I jump onto the Scarab right now, really pretty small. A lot bigger than that one. I don't know. It's cool though. I really like that this is uh, working so good. I didn't expect that we'd have uh, most of the Halo 2 Scarab like in with effects and stuff by... Like during the stream, I figured that I would have to do a lot of that off stream, but now it's working pretty good. The basket handling. <laughs> it really is a basket though. But I do really want to fix the flatness. Of it. it looks so much better with smooth lighting. <laughs> Gabe the babe, thank you for the fiver. This is truly a type 47 ultra heavy assault platform moment. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. Oh my god, please load! It's taking so long. Do you bring the Banished Scarab into Halo 3? Yeah, probably at some point. I mean, Green's already done it though. Like, he literally has done it and he's, he's put the animations for the Halo 3 Scarab on it and everything. Like, he did it pretty damn good. Thank you again, Gabe, for the fiver. Ugh. I, the, the blender is still still loading, by the way. Well, in the meantime, even though I, I can't get the animation in the pose set right until that, in, um, until that imports, uh, I suppose I could always just work on the light volumes one more time. Just a little bit of light volume work, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure they're like really up to snuff. I only worked on them for like 15 minutes before on just these these light volumes alone, I could just work a little longer.
Yeah, animations take forever. That is a fact. Extremely true. They usually don't take this long for me, but I think it's because I'm streaming that they're taking so long right now. See you around, Nick. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, what if instead of uh, <laughs> going to sleep at a reasonable time, I just chugged a shit ton of coffee and made a Halo 2 Scarab by the time the sun camps up? <laughs> Am I right, guys? <laughs> uh. Shiny light volume. Yeah. Oh, it finally imported. Fuck yeah. I can subscribe for me to destroy my mental health on stream. Let's go. Alright, so the way this animation works is, well, pretty obvious. Let me hide everything except for the um, actual scarab render geometry. So this is what the animation looks like here, the one that I work with most of the time for the scarab moving. But the way that I actually work this is pretty straightforward as well. Guess who wouldn't moderate the chat that entire time? Yeah, true. I'd have to actually like get my shit together and moderate it. But okay, so here's how this system works. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna export as scarab-3 new idle. And uh, I'm gonna delete every keyframe that is not the first one. This is now it. This is what the scarab's default pose is gonna be. And by having this be the default pose, Everything is based off of this, and since it's always going to be posed like this anyway, it actually needs to be posed like this. So, I move it, I... Oh my god, you literally can't even see. But this is... Let me go back, so you can see. So this is the Scarab imported, with the animations. It's a really cool walk cycle, and it's literally just the Scarab walking forward, and it loops, too. So, if I play it... It'll play faster than this. This is really slow right now, but it, so it does this. And if I were to take the uh, location on the Y and Z axes and delete them, I believe it's the hull bone. Yeah, if I grab the main hull bone, it should be selected here, wherever the hell it is. Yeah, this is the whole bone. If I take it and I undo its location movements. Uh, it should be the Y axis. Uh, yeah, if I null out the X axis location. Check it out. Now when I play. This is an animation I can use in game now because the scarab is not like physically moving. He do be walking. He do be. And it just loops infinitely now. You can literally see it's an infinite loop. Um, so I'm going to delete all of these. This will be the new idle. So I'm just going to keep it in this idle state. This will be its default pose. Export as Halo 3, subdirectories, render here, go to that folder, take all of these, go here, 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 go to the data folder instead of the tags folder, delete these, paste, and I need to reimport all of them now. So, reimport the render model. I think this will mean this will scuff the legs probably because I forgot to unscuff the legs, but we're getting there. Okay, render model's good. Get the collision model in now. Going, we're going places.
let it work, let it do its thing. And then finally the physics model, two seconds, boom. Now it crouches. And the legs are still smooth, that's pretty good. Oh wait, are they? I think they are. But there you go, now that's, uh, that's the scarab right there. I gotta fix its... That's the scarab. That's this is a this is a certified Twitter picture moment. All right, let's make sure the physics models work. They sure as hell do. That's dope. All right, I'm posting that on Twitter real quick. Get a better angle of it. What's a good angle to have this at? Maybe down from below? Make it look like it's in motion. You're gonna watch me here. This is like, you know, uh, when people post on Instagram and they're just like posing all these things, like, oh my God, act like you're interested in what we're doing. That's me right now. I'm gonna pretend like it's climbing over something, even though it's just a totally static object. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Oh wait, you know what, let's do that. That's the screenshot right there. Bot, 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 kill it. Kill it now. What if, theoretically, I was in first person while doing that? Just theoretically, of course. Ah! All right, the Tweety sent out everybody. We got him. Will you mod the crack from Hill 5? Doubt, honestly, doubt. All right, this thing still needs a lot of fixing, but it's getting there. So let me decide. Do I end stream now that it's been going on for four hours or do I keep going because I have the energy to? Maybe I should end stream for tonight. Then I'll keep working on this. Because the next thing I would want to do is like add a turret and then I would want to add the holograms. And then I would want to troubleshoot and fix it so I can smooth shade everything. And then I would want to do animations and then I would want to do um, making the beam chair. Did I reach 500? No way. Oh my god, wait, we did. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I wait what we actually did holy shit he's asking us I was but you know what actually I the streams been going for like oh, basically four hours um I still have a lot more work I want to do on this but 
Yeah, I should go. I got some stuff I need to take care of tonight, but this, this has been a fantastic stream. I had so much fun today. I, I hope you guys feel the same. I know we already, we lost quite a few people along the way, but for all you guys who are here now, work on those light volumes. True, true. But for real, thank you guys. I, I really hope you enjoyed being here today. This has been a really fun stream for me. Streams like this and days like this, it, it basically is like, it, it encourages me to keep doing streams and keep hanging out with y'all and showing you like the work and fun projects that I do on stream. So thank you all. Thank you all for the, the hanging out and being in chat. Thank you all for the extremely generous super chats and all the engagement you had with me and all the, the work I'm doing on this mod. I'm glad you guys find it interesting. I'll keep working on this uh, maybe tomorrow on stream. I'll probably do some work on off stream just because I'm enjoying this so much. And this is like a, a really fun project for me. But yeah, I'll probably stream again tomorrow. So be sure to tune in uh, and be on my Discord and subscribe to YouTube to get those notifications so I can spam you. But anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful time tonight. And I hope that uh, you'll be there for the next streamer video. All right. Have a good night, y'all. Sleep well.